Yep. All right, there we go. We're back. We're in the mix. So again, let me explain what's going on with FF7. I uh, I got to a dragon in chapter 13, I think. Spoiler alert: There's a dragon in chapter 13, and uh, it put pause on me every way, every possible way it could. But before we jump on all that, let's do what we always do the right way. We gotta thank our mods. Yes, sir. Um, but yeah, the, the dragon put pause on me. It was horrible. So now I got to level up. I have been reduced down <laughs> to needing to level up. But I figured I would do it on stream. But let's do shout outs before we get into all this. Let me scroll up. Uh, let's see. Cool, cool, cool. So to the very beginning, we got Dragon Samurai, Dereker, Dapper Mission, Next at Black Flame, uh, Inuyasha Guy, Axel Hart, Sinstrel, Childish is Incarnate. <laughs> Kaizen Flair, Axel Hart's been on a 30 month streak. Or 29, but 30 total. Really appreciate that. Um, we've got Quell Day. Let's see, we've got Double Aki Chan, Wild Mary on 33 months. Damn! Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. The Wildest of Marys. Uh, Silent Knight, 8606. Let's see. Who else we got in the mix? Blue Fox, was happening? Let's scroll down some more. Uh, Riku Suave, 23 months. Let me hit that. What did you expect? Uh, the button, not you. Sorry. <laughs> I just realized that came out weird. <laughs> <He's>... <laughs> Whoops. Nah, I meant the button. Uh... Let's see who else we got in there. I think that's everybody. Let me scroll down. Let me scroll down. Scroll down. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because this was us chatting about the episode. Yeah, yeah. So we're uh, we're all caught up. Wait, Swizzle the Lord. Wait, is it? Yeah, Swizzle Swizz Lord. Excuse me, Swizz Lord the Third. I had it wrong. Uh, Guitar Hamimi was good. Um, let's see. Kaiju Carlos was happening. Uh, yeah, I think that's Quirky Riku was good. And Celex22, got it. And you, Klaus, all right. I always feel a sense of accomplishment when I actually hit all the names, so. But uh, yeah, man, the series, The Squall House, it's taking, a, it's taking a turn. The drama is unfolding. Like there was drama-ish, but now it's really like, okay, hold up. Now we gotta see how this really uh, plays out. What's up, Xion? What's happening? Um, but yeah, man, since I'm not really doing any story stuff tonight, uh, I'm free to just shoot the shit you know, like I was essentially trying to, yeah, okay, so here's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to, low key, I'm trying to accomplish all of these. Like, Juno would be my next goal, right? But first, let's visit Chatley and do some of those, because I haven't done any of the, whatchamacallit, like none of them. I've done one, I did Titan. I did Titan, and then that's it. Uh, are we close on the end of season one of Squall House or we still got some more? There's still some more. There is, um, I have to sit down and write out how many episodes are left. Let me see if I can count off the top of my head. Let's see. Uh, I think if I'm not mistaken, because keep in mind, all right, I'll tell you guys this. I, uh, what's up, Hypex kid? What's good? Um, Originally, here's the crazy thing. Back when season one was kind of like, it was a simpler, a more simple idea. I didn't have a lot of stuff fleshed out. I was gonna try to make this season 14 episodes because FF14, right? But then once the story started evolving, more characters got introduced, more complex situations. And then I realized the length of each episode um, was starting to get out of hand. Because I don't know if you guys know this, but what you just saw, was originally meant to be a part of episode 10. Like it was meant to start from the, the big titty dream sequence and go all the way up to me getting chased by simps. Just think about how long of an episode that would have been. Just use your imagination and think about 
how much time that would have taken. So now everything is getting kind of uh, broken up into sections. So the episode I had episodes I had written, I have to cut them apart a little bit, you know, so they're easier to watch instead of like a 20, 30 minute episode every time. It's like, uh, the longest episode we've had so far was episode 10. The, um, the last one with the introductions, the titty dream, father gold, you know, that stuff. Elias. All right. I let's... assume you saw that broadcast from Wu Tai. It goes without saying that tensions are running high. I'm keeping a close watch on Shinra's activities, but it is unclear how the company will respond. We must proceed with care. Bet. Uh, what's up, Gekido? Uh, yo, dude, I discovered your uh, Chanio through your song. I had it on repeat my whole FF7 Rebirth playthrough, and it made the game even better for me. Yo, are you talking about uh, the Gunna Buster you song? Wow. I really appreciate that. That means a lot, for real. Like, now I'm imagining someone playing all the stuff I've played but they're listening to Gonna Bust You. Man, that's... Yo, that just touched my black ass heart, man. Here, I got you, dog. I got you. Man. <laughs> no, thank you for real. That was a Mystic Lord based. I, um... Yeah, that's a fun, that was a fun song for sure. Because <clears throat> I got to combine two, well, three things I really love. Bad Bitches, Final Fantasy, and uh, 90s hip hop and R&B. That, 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 that menage a trois of goodness was uh, all the inspiration I needed, you know, to bring it to life. Actually, no, I can't take full credit. Um, the, the community actually pushed me. So when I made the instrumental for that song, the Don Corneo mix, I just did that on a whim. I was like, here, I'm gonna put this out there. It's funny. I think it's neat. And then everyone kept commenting, make a longer version, make a longer version. And in my head, it's like, well, that's the hook of it. Like, it would be the same thing. What you're hearing is the whole song. But I was like, maybe they mean make a full like song song. That's not what they meant. I don't think anyone asked for me to make a whole Gonna Buster You song like that. Uh, but you know, I did <clears throat> because why not? But no, nah, I'm glad people are digging it. Uh, I'm looking forward to your reactions. I finished Rebirth a few nights ago. Yeah, I was supposed to get further, but again, that dragon, man, it, it put hand pause on me. So now we got to regroup. Like anyone who's a fan of, um, what's that comedian's name? Ah, oh, he's funny. He's the guy who's like, Gar! Gar! Um, he's funny as hell. I can't remember his name. Uh, but he says a phrase. He's like, let's regroup. He'll, he, 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 blah, 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 I can't talk. He says, let's regroup. He says that a lot. Ha ha Davis. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but that's what I have to do now. I have to regroup. In fact, let me go grab my water because my throat is dry. That's why I'm mumbling, fumbling my words.
All right, bet. Um, <clears throat> a second. Sorry about that. But yeah, uh, I figure if I just use the night to level up, chill, you know, kill two birds with one stone, I'm still streaming. You get to see your boy, but I'm also getting stronger. Now, there's one more thing. If you want to know about these points for doing side stuff, uh, yeah, what you got? What you thinking? All right, we've done Titan. We've done that. Let's try Phoenix. For my, oh, that's right. So the catch with this game is if you find all of their altars and, and decipher the puzzles, you can fight a weaker version. If you don't, you just go in and get hands put on you immediately. Um, I think I'm on regular mode. Gekido, I don't think I'm on a... I mean, I could do it if I wanted to, but I was like, I would rather just get through the, you know, the plot. <clears throat> All right, let's do this. I'm going to be mad if the Aeons, I mean, the, the uh, summons level up alongside me. Like, that's going to hurt. I ain't going to lie. That's going to hurt. Man, you know what? Let me assess this if I have it. I don't. Oh, I got Infinity's End. Let me try that on Phoenix. I try that Infinity's End. It's not what I wanted, but okay. Oh, it's like FF14 ads. You have to destroy these first. You have to. Like, there's no other way. You have to destroy the ads. Like, get your ass handed to you. Uh, there we go. Someone heal my boy. Tifa, you got any? Uh... can't use items here so that's the I didn't do anything. Thank you, thank you, Harvest Moon. I'm glad you enjoyed the episode. Leroy, 27 months. I got you, dog. What did you expect? Yeah. Oh. 
But no, I'm glad you enjoyed that episode for sure. And keep in mind, we're fighting Phoenix on like the next to the one rung under uh, max level. So me getting my ass whooped here is justified. I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm trying to heal Cloud and he's about to get murdered. Uh, I should have came in with better materia. You know, you hate to see it. Oh, Tifa, all right, Tifa died, okay. <clears throat> Wait, fire wouldn't heal. Okay, I was about to say, if it heals Phoenix, I'm gonna be mad. Okay. Got it. Well, well, I might need to go around the world on weekend. Phoenix for this uh this kind of stuff is uh speaking of FS16 did I play it yeah yeah we streamed that uh, a while back it was pretty good it was pretty good it was uh it was I say Game of Thrones influenced because it was but it was great um you know maybe we need to journey the world and do some stuff um, each area is locked in their own points, so the material you get Chad, is based off the region. And you can't spend points from grass on June. Right, right, got you. Okay. Um, yeah, I need to unlock. All right, you know what? We need to explore more before we can do more Chatterly Analyzing stuff. Analyzing one's failures can prove instructive. I mean, you have to say it like that. I hope you won't mind my mentioning, but I've observed that world intel collection is stalled of late. I'm certain, however. Shut up. Um, so yeah, what we're gonna do, this is the game's way of telling me you should probably do some more. I feel like a weatherman. And over here, you see, we have, uh, <laughs> we, <laughs> over here, we have the grasslands. Uh, we can expect, uh, low temperatures, no, lows of 55, highs of 71. Uh, if we look over here in the Junon region, we can see that we haven't done shit, uh, in this region here uh and if we go a little further to the meridian ocean uh this is uncharted territory this is a place that you definitely want to go when you get time uh, if you find uh <laughs> uh chatterly chatterly i keep saying chatterly there's two different ones there's the one i made up and there's this one um chatterly always throwing shade it really is man i was so mad during the um the the cruise ship thing i was furious i was like this man all right let's see yeah let's let's we haven't unlocked damn damn look how uncharted this is man okay <laughs> you gotta say it like the guy for family guy uh it's gonna rain oh ollie yeah yeah <laughs> now back to you john what's up tetsu um all right we gotta unlock some junon stuff man let's let's get it let's get it and this is kind of reminiscent. I've said this a thousand times, but when I was younger, I used to level grind on weekends, you know? This is the weekend. You can stay up. You don't have school the next day. And, you know, your mom and dad aren't going to send you to bed at an early time. So I was like, oh, yes, yeah, the weekend? It's on now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now it is. Okay. Oh, I've never been to Junon in broad daylight. Last time we were here and streamed it, like forever ago, it was evening time. So I guess the time of day just changes whenever, unless it's linked to like real life. Unless it's linked to the internal clock of my PS5. And whatever time is set for the PS5, the game thinks is that time. That would be crazy. Meaning if I played this game again at like 4 a.m., the whole shebangabang would be different. I might be overthinking it. 
I'm not gonna lie, I might be overthinking it. But, <laughs> it's a cool theory. I think Animal Crossing, um, the one on GameCube had a system like that. But it was based on the literal time, literal time of day. Badly would say, Plato-san. <laughs> Plato-san. 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 Hmm. Wait, we have a chocobo. What am I doing? All right, let's see where we're going first. No, we need to fast travel. We need to go to the... Wait. Yeah, okay, yeah. Let's go to the mine. Wait, no. Am I tripping? This is the Midgar Zolum area, right? This is how we got over... No, that can't be. No, 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 no. Impossible. Inconceivable! Uh. Right, right. I had to think about it for a second. Okay. Well, if I'm gonna get to this one, I'm gonna have to journey down and around. I'm kind of sad. The first battle I got in on stream tonight, I got my shit rocked in front of everybody. That's that's not a good way to start the stream off. I'm not gonna lie, but it's whatever. But yeah, um, on the subject of Squall House, what I've been telling, uh, we have like. I have like a little private chat of uh it's me kaizen fooli and uh kenji and like i've said before like i'll present an idea that i have and make sure it's in in, in within bounds of what you can do in ff14 and they'll sprinkle in some dope ass ideas like well maybe you should try this maybe you should do this instead i'm like oh hell yeah like a good example the uwu joke that was made in the last episode i just showed i asked them i was like hey what's the What's a really difficult something that everyone knows is difficult in FF14? And they were like, oh, ooh, uh, ultimate weapon ultimate. I was like, okay, cool. So I cracked that into the script. You know, like them guiding me with stuff like that is really cool. Uh, since I don't know everything or much of anything about FF14, they really helped me anchor it to that world. You know what I mean? But uh, I was telling them if I can at least finish the first season like i have ideas for like more and more seasons of course um but if i can at least get the first one out a solid whole ass season i'll be proud of myself like i could put it to rest for a while and let that marinate on the internet you know what i mean like that would be my uh that's my main goal that way i don't burn myself out you know like that way i don't do season one and then jump straight into season two it's like let season one do what it's gonna do and i think it's a it's a strong start so far what's a worldwide and you ready to quit on live. I bring up old shit, man. Yeah, Time out. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> anyway. All right, where are we going? Are we going the right way? Yes, we are. Finally. I hate getting lost in games. I mean, not lost. I don't get lost. I hate uh, getting turned around periodically, but rarely. Oh, there we go. Bing, bing, bing. Um, not FF related, but I've been playing Persona 3. I wish for that. Oh, that's what's up, Mystic Lord. I actually, believe it or not, I've been wanting to play uh, Persona 3 in my downtime, but then I play this in my downtime. If I'm not doing this, I'm like editing, like what you just saw. 
Um, but I, I want to get back on P3. You know, that's one of those games I'm probably going to play by myself. Like, we streamed a little bit of it, but it's... When I say a, a repetitive game, it's a slice of life. It's like, it's kind of hard to make that interesting because you're doing virtually the same thing day after day after day after day. You know, it's like, hey, go study, go talk to your friends, go do the track. You know, like, it's cool because I enjoyed it when I played P5 by myself. Like, it was great. It's just for streaming purposes, you know, Unless you're just one of those streamers that people are like, I'll, I'll watch whatever the fuck they play. But, you know. Come on, man. Let's go. Crash. Um, <clears throat> you know. The social stuff puts me to sleep. Yeah, yeah. And I think everyone probably feels that way. That's why, even when I was gonna, excuse me, when I first was gonna stream Persona 5, I think I asked people. I got feedback. This was way back when. I feel like, if I'm not mistaken, I don't even think Guffy was around yet. That's how long ago this was. Because um, I think I was playing Ghost of Tsushima on stream, yeah. And then I would get off and I would play P5 by myself. Um, right, yeah, okay, I remember now, yeah. Gotta get you on Dragon's Dog Machu. It looks fun, like I watched that. Uh, the voice actor for Ganyo in Squall House, Alice Aptos. Shout out to my girl, Alice Aptos. I was watching her play it recently, and it looked pretty fun. Like, it literally looked like Elden Ring with some uh, FF7 Rebirth um, battle mechanics. I don't know. I feel like I can't, though. I'll tell you what. I feel like I can't play Dragon's Dogma because I kind of softly gave up on Baldur's Gate 3. Like, I plan to go back to... When I say softly, I mean, like, I just kind of put it on the back burner. Which sucks, because I paid a lot for that game, but... Because I never got the hang of the battle system and, and the mechanics, I just kind of was like, eh... I'm going to wait for Final Fantasy uh, Rebirth to come out. Which is where we are now. Damn, did you come through the gate? The hell? <laughs> you know? What up, Deanna Fox? I spent 85 hours finishing Persona 3. It takes a high minute. Yeah, see... So DM Fox. Hey, thanks for the follow. Gonna hit a goal though. Um, first time watching your stream. Yeah, I see. Uh, so a cool thing, uh, mildly spicy 56, is uh, when first time chatters come in, it puts this nifty ass box in your name that's like first time chat. And it's so decorated that it, it forces me to look. I'm like, oh. you know, like no matter what I'm doing, that box jumps out. Um, <clears throat> What was I going to say? So, let me ask you, Deanna Fox. So, you've beaten Persona 3. Would you agree that's a game that you... Most people probably shouldn't sit and try to stream the entire thing because it would just be, uh, be boring. Not to say the game is boring. It's just getting from point A to my next exam. <laughs> There's a lot of minutia in the middle that's not that entertaining. You know what I mean? That's just my theory, though. I could be wrong. But yeah, I digress. Um, Dragon Dogs, Dragon's Dogma looks pretty cool. Oh. I see you made it safe and sound. According to the energy readings, the proto relic should be nearby. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. Fun fact, I was looking for the, I was looking for that. But that's cool too. That's the beauty of a level up and chill stream. I can just go do what I want, you know? I don't have to stop and say, oh man, we gotta do MSQ. We gotta do MSQ. Like, nah, I am the MSQ. Dragon Dogma 2 is action RPG. But I say wait to play, since you're still playing this. Yeah, yeah, I can't touch any more games, man. Like I, remember we were doing Days Gone? It was on the tail end of Spooktober, but the game was so good, man. And I just kinda was like, well, Spooktober's over. We're just gonna move to something else. But I'm looking at the game right now. Like, I'm looking at it on the floor. Like, I'm making eye contact with the dude from Days Gone. And he's just looking at me, sitting on his bike or sitting by his bike. Judgment in his eyes. In his nifty ass PS4 case. <sighs> you know. 
Oh, it's boy, Argo. Uh, I feel Puvi Royal was streamable because the opening is savage. Yeah, I, I get that, but, you know. Okay. Hey, is this something? What? Something indeed. That's it. Now then, all that remains is to... Hmm. That's odd. So many energy spikes. What could be the cause? This merits investigation. One moment. Fort Condor, huh? Takes wow. Used to study basic tactics with it. Game's pretty fun, actually. Wedge was into it, and he and I play sometimes. Detecting rapid increase in... Wait, Tifa, don't! Oh! Well, this is how you play Fort Condor. You get sucked into it, Jumanji style. Reinforcements are here. We're saved. No! That's wild. What in the hell is going on here? And why do we look like this? Hey, watch where you shoot. That's hilarious. Captain! Don't give up the fight. This reminds me of um no! There was this Glad Gundam here, there was a show on uh not Tsunami. Or might have been. It was Gundam Wing, but they were like chibi. That's what this makes me think of. Shinra forces are poised to strike our position. Help us! You're our only hope. We are? <laughs> now what did I just say? There's no time. The enemy's already upon us. We'll explain on the way. Just come. We just got Jumanji. <laughs> Person holding shoes passing. Okay, so this is interesting. Hero units. Hmm, balanced offense and defense focused. Assault offense focused. Safeguard defense, stronghold defense focus. Now we'll keep it keep it simple. Uh, all right, bear, it's good. Okay. All right, let's just try it. SD Gundam, got it, got it. Okay. Boy unit, use the cursor to select the location. Oh, this is like Final Fantasy Tactics. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. I haven't played Fort Condor forever, but I used to love the game. Like, I used to love that mini game in OG FF7. So let's see if I can remember. Okay. All right, so they're already on the way. All right, so they're spawning soldiers. Okay. All right, so they're sending someone to attack. All right, the unit is assigned one of three roles. Vanguard, ranged, those are some All right, so I can put a Vanguard, I can put someone to attack and attack or someone to guard. Yeah, let's put a, let's put a shield here. And then I'm gonna put, I need range. You know, let's get a long range back here. Yeah. Let's put up a defense here. Let's see if we can get that. Okay, so you know what? I'll take another Vanguard out here. Oh, they got long range shooting. Okay, that's all I got. Alright, see what happens. Alright, so they're meeking on him. He's getting the meek meek special. Okay. My guard is about to die, though. That's not good. That makes me nervous. Okay. Long range. You're about to go down, so let's play. Yeah. Oh, 
cleric. Oh, I need a healer. Uh, yeah, back my guy up. Back him up. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Uh, another Vanguard here. Uh-oh. Another Ranger. Oh, no. Here, Cleric. Yeah, just... Oh, I shouldn't have put the Cleric... Not in the front line. That was dumb. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I just sent that Cleric to his doom. Okay. Uh, Vanguard. So the Ranger... Hey. All right, cool. The Ranger's doing his thing. We need an Enforcer here. Oh no, we're losing, uh, we're losing. The point units are the same roles as you were before the unit. Moment a hero unit is placed on the field, they will unleash a devastating attack. Okay, right. I didn't mean to do that yet. That's all right. You will lose if you cannot defeat the boss until, okay. 60 seconds? Okay, that's not good. All right, here, put a, put a Vanguard. Damn, Cloud's about to die. Oh. All right, go forward, Cloud, go forward. I need a cleric to heal Cloud. Damn. Shit. Oh, no. Yeah, Cloud's about to get murdered. Oh, man. They destroyed my, uh, okay. Yeah, we all know, man. That sucks. Hey, let me try something again. Queen's blood did me dirty the first time, but... All right, you know what? We're gonna try a fence focus. Balls to the wall, just go in. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll take Tifa, this first, uh... Yeah. Okay, we're just gonna go in. We're just gonna go in. So I think like Queen's Blood, it's a matter of me just getting there as quick as I can. So they're sending out range. No, they're sending out a, uh, okay. All right, they're sending out two Vanguard. I'll do the same. Yeah, I'll do the same. Yeah, so now get an Enforcer. Take an Enforcer with you. Mm-hmm. Ooh, a Trebuchet. Ooh, I'll put that here, yeah. And all right, let's see what this does. We got an Enforcer and a Vanguard. But he got murdered imme immediately, so that sucks. What the? We got a ranger. Well, they blew up my trebuchet. That's that's great. All right, elite ranger. Okay, well, that's long range. So let's get an elite vanguard. Beat on their ass. Mm -hmm. Alright, so they're gonna. Oh no. Uh, put a trebuchet here.
Keep them healed. Keep them heals going, clerics. Yep, heal the boys. Heal the homies. Heal the ho Oh, they murdered the cleric. They have murdered the cleric. Okay. Ah, oh, man. What a roto. What's happening, man? Or should I say Wolfie? <laughs> All right, range attack. And I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spend the whole stream doing Fort Condor. I'm just, you know, just seeing what all we can do. All right, so that damn, they're pushing us back, back. All right. Oh, I didn't catch this. Oh no. Uh, beat his ass. Uh. -uh. New. Oh no. Oh man. Like they have murdered all of our condors. Like, what? What? Nah. Yeah, I, I gotta learn how to port condor better. This ain't it. Yeah, this is, uh. It's only like 10 seconds to go. Nah, they got it. Yeah. Ugh. So anyway, we're gonna ignore this proto relic for now. Yeah. That's here. Uh, it was the victory theme, but it was played in like a minor key or like some shit. I can't. I can't explain it because I don't know music. Was but. That? Uh, call me crazy, but we were inside the game, weren't we? That's impossible. It is impossible, right? Man. <clears throat> Proto relic appears to have vanished. If I were to guess, I'd say it's somewhere within that temporal rift. To secure it, I'm afraid you have no choice but to re enter Fort Condor. Nah, not tonight. So, anyway, uh, we need to go up here. Whatever. What's up, uh, Luna Shion? Kami Free? What's good? <laughs> Kino Tubs? Did you try out the Stellar Booty demo? I have not. Uh, too many games on the uh, the membrane, so I can't, uh, you know, tempted as I am, because I've seen video footage of stellar cheeks, but I'm getting to the point now where there has to be more to a game than just ask for me to stop everything I'm doing to to play it, you know what I mean? I know it sounds crazy coming from me, but it's, it's real, you know? Like, I'm still a gamer. Like, I still like just games for the sake of gaming. The sex appeal is nice and it sells, of course, but you know. Okay. Uh, all right, so like Pirates of the Caribbean, sunken ships over here. All right. But yeah, no, exactly. Rebirth has so much to offer. Like I'm doing side stuff now. Technically, I don't have a choice because <laughs> get my ass whooped. But you know. You asked for it. All right, are we going the right way? Nope. I'm not even close. But you know what's interesting? Besides this Pirates of the Caribbean, Caribbean music, we can explore this, can't we? Can we get in the water? Let's try it. Let's try it. I think you like the combat if you like Sekiro. I have never played Sekiro. That's the game called uh, Shadows Die Trying. No, that's 50 Cent. Shadows Die Twice. 
Yeah, I never played it. Oh yeah, let's see what's over here in the pirate ship, man. Now we're exploring. Now we're just adventuring. We're just supposed to do in a game like this. Let's see what this world has to offer. Let's see. Is that an item? Let me see. Nope. Thought it was. Man. That's a lot of schmoop. Well, here, here, hear me out, um, you know, Tubbs. I don't know if you're aware of this, but I beat the critically acclaimed Elden Ring. So chances are I can handle any game of that variety. Uh, smoke and all. Smoke and all. And I still want to play Bloodborne because I feel like... I mean, I did beat Elden Ring, so, you know. I feel like because of that fact alone, I could play Bloodborne and dominate. You know what I'm saying? Like, remember when Bane in the uh, Batman, whichever movie that was, when he said, uh, what did he say? He was talking about the dark. He was like, uh, <laughs> you merely adopt the dark. I was born in it, molded by it. By the time I saw light, it was blinding. That's how I feel about Elden Ring. Now that I've been born in in the Eld Tree, I've been, I was born under the Eld Tree, you know what I'm saying? So that means any game I play now of that variety, it's just like, it's light work. I said light work, <laughs> you know? <laughs> the Dark Knight Rises, thank you, thank you. I was trying to remember which one it was. We saw that in theaters, great. <laughs> Cloud, by analyzing the life spring data, I was able to locate an old Republic transmitter chip. It can be found within a derelict structure that sits upon the coastline. This area is modeled with craters resulting from intense warfare between the Republic and Shinra. Do mind your step as you proceed. Right. Okay. Ooh. Oh, convenient. You know what? We need to be uh, responsible. Let's check what material we need to like really be leveling up. Cause sometimes I noticed I had material on my person that was already maxed out and I never changed it. Exhibit A. Um, well, no, that's got to be linked with something. Actually, that's good to keep that on there. Um, attack, switching that with magic. That's fine. Um, let's see. That's going to be a while. The gravity magic, that's going to take a minute. Um, wind materia is close. I want that Aroga. Like, I just want the flex of an, a guy magic. Like, did anyone else feel like that? The first time you got some guy magic? Like, raw magic is great. But when you get that guy, roll up on them hoes, like, I got that guy. It's just, it changes the entire dynamic of your playthrough. And I, I need to feel that. I need that. Like, I need that. So that means we're really close to um, Eruga. Dekaga. You know, Tubbs, you just ruined what I was trying to say. So let me go ahead and... Time out. <sighs> let me go ahead and put you there. Um, What's up, Masubi Mar? I want my magic like Gongaga. I know, right? All right, so we, we let's, keep, let's keep going with that. Let's... Uh, Mm, all right, Bear, do you have any maxed out stuff? You're close to maxing out your ice, HP up, precision. Yeah, let's put some other stuff on you. We need to be leveling up anything we can. Anything we can put on our person, let's just do it. Who cares if we double up? Don't matter. All right, fire material. Ooh, Tifa's the, okay. Tifa's the closest to getting some of that sweet Faraga. And I'm, I'm, I'm excited for that. Auto unique ability material, magnify. Oh, that's like AOE. That's pretty close to finishing. AP up. Okay, I bet. Item master. Okay. All right, let's start with this. Let's just keep grinding, exploring, all that good stuff. Now we'll see. 
another good thing about doing this level up and chill stream tonight is like and this music is perfect for this conversation like i feel like i don't have to worry about anything right now you know what i mean like i don't have to worry about completing any story intensive uh moments i can just run around you know what i mean i can just vibe i can just stand here for a minute and, and vibe on the music if my heart desires and I think that's the beautiful part about a level up and chill stream, you know? It's just... I'm just one with nature and crystals right now. Ah, it's hella mellow. It's hella mellow. Alright, let's get out of here. I crave violence. Like Xenos. I will never compare myself to that person again. Like, whoa, 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 no way, no, that didn't happen, <laughs> that didn't happen, we ain't nothing alike, I'm tripping, all right, let's see where we're going, uh, Yeah, we need to ungrate all of this. Because we'll find something in every nook and cranny of this place. <laughs> nah, Kino Tubbs. I didn't say that. I said, um. Zeldinos. Hmm. All right, here we go. Trying to get turned around. Perfect. Okay, so we find an area of interest. Does that make a teleport spot? No, it doesn't. I thought it did. <gasps> Actually, no, I think it does. Let me let me double check something. I have a theory. Any item, any uh thing you access that's on your map, it becomes a teleport spot, I think. Let me double check that theory. Like if you click on that and you say, hey, I want to fast travel. Yep. So that's the cool thing about FF7 Rebirth. Any icon you see, like like once I unlock those, it's like, hey, you want to fast travel there? I can't do it yet because I haven't unlocked it. That's fast travel. That's fast travel. These Feet are fast travel. I love that. And any icon you can. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Okay, let's see. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Um, this way. Did I jump that? Nope. Thought I could. Oh, wait. They want me to go over here, but I can't access the... Uh, it's convenient. What's convenient? What happened? Um... Can't climb that. Unless there's a secret way on the back side. Oh, the teleport. Yes, the fast travel. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think the game tricked me. No, no, it didn't. It's just showing you that's a dead end. If I go the other way, that's a potential dead. End. Okay. Hey, you know what? Let's let's abuse the system. Let me go ahead and just yeah, fast travel up to the nice. Yeah, let's go this way then.
All right, let's see. Uh, oh, oh. Ah, uh, there we go. You know what? I just thought about something. We were when we were playing uh, Yakuza Kiwami. From my understanding, that was a pretty short game, and now I'm wondering how close I was to the end of that. Like if I was really close, or if it was more like, eh, you got like five hours of, you know. Because like, okay, so I don't I don't know if this makes sense, but like sometimes my OCD flares up, right? Like if I'm playing a game after coming off another game after not finishing another game i start to like think of um what i can trim off that list just to have that feeling of completion what do we leave off let me think let me see that we were looking for the little girl's mom and then we found out her mom was dead and then it's been so long i can't even remember where i stopped on yakuza kiwami to be honest with you Cause I'm starting to think now, I'm like, man, like, technically I can do this anytime I want, like explore, do shit. But that Yakuza, that Yakuza, dang. Hmm. Let me think for a second, let me think. And I know it seems weird that I'm like, jumping around a bit but I'm thinking like uh, uh I think Haruko is a little girl I'm pretty sure I think I can't remember man okay I have an idea I have an idea how many times do we have to teach you this level what <laughs> uh I think what I want to do, I think what I want to do, and I know people are fine with watching me do like side quest stuff on stream. My gut is telling me we should we should grind out and finish Yakuza. I don't know if we'll finish it tonight, but like at least get that story completed. So I can just have it off my mind. You know what happens with the little girl, Nishikiyami, the holes, everything. Okay, you know what? L let's leave it to the chat. Let's leave it to the chat. You know what I'm gonna do? Because it's, it's a democracy in this bitch. Uh, will Amaya put up a, a poll for me? I'm gonna step out. I'm gonna go upstairs for a second. Will you put up a poll? And the option is A, we just kind of run around and FS7 Rebirth, or B, uh, we jump back on Yakuza MSQ just to see where that story goes. Uh, so you guys put that poll up. I'll be right back. Just don't, just don't dance on it. <sighs> uh, no 14, just uh, Yakuza Rebirth. Uh, 14 is for tomorrow.
Uh, all right, let's see. Want to play? All right, looks like Rebirth was the winner. <laughs> Everyone was like, man, fuck y'all. Yeah, all right, so we'll stick to some Rebirth. And again, it was a thought. Like, it was like, it popped in my head, and I was like, huh. <laughs> um, What's the equivalent? Still blink. Oh, the poll didn't work for everybody? Huh. Uh-oh. Like I said, it was just a thought. It seems like the majority picked uh, Rebirth. Let's see. Let's go to this one over here. Yeah, I was upstairs checking some... Uh, like, anytime I post something new, like, I'll leave my phone alone for a bit, and I go back, and it's just like... Brrr, notifications. So I was just going to kind of look at some of those. Those are always like that stamp of approval when you've uh, done a new thing, you know? All right, bust that. All right. Speaking of stamps of approval, when you, un well, I say unlock, when you find everything in a reason, that does hit different. It does, it feels good. Let me get in a really relaxed gamer position. <sighs> oh. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Wait a minute. I see an unfriendly over there. Flying, even. Uh, that's too far. I was going to say we'll go over there and deal with it, but not yet. Not yet. No, actually, yes. Yes, yet. Now, yet. <laughs> right now, yet. Right yet. But no, I will say in the writing process of like the scripts for the Squaw House, like that's the most interesting part because that's what has to drive these episodes. I don't know if you guys caught on yet, but like if the dialogue sucks, the viewer is going to lose interest. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm trying to make sure when I, I write this stuff out, it has just a nice flow to it. Like the subject matter is on point. You know, like, because, like, some stuff I'll write at first. I'm like, this is cool, but I can do better for the squaw. And then I go back and uh, tweak, you know, some of the lines here and there. Uh, can I get up here? There it is. Uh, damn. Come on, man. I hate how narrow the AOE, the uh, the point of interest is with the chocobo thing. Like you have to hit it. Yeah, perfect. Okay. All right, let's get it. I feel like this song is a one-to-one -one of a Pirates of the Caribbean uh, background music. That one part, at least. What's up, Super Saiyan Mike? Just finished Godzilla X Kong. Uh, just doing some level up and chill. The last Godzilla movie I watched, it was the Japanese version. Uh, G minus zero or G minus one, whichever. That was good. And I'm not even a crazy big like Godzilla fan. You know, like I don't keep up with those movies like that. But uh, me and Panadonia saw it in theaters. It was really good. The story was on point. The fills, the, the stakes were high as hell. 
feels great. Uh, yeah, it does have like a Kingdom Hearts 3 kind of vibe. Um, any predictions on when Kingdom Hearts 4 will come out? Uh, I don't know. I will say this, though. I feel like Rebirth just set the bar pretty damn high. So naturally, they're going to have to uh, meet this level of detail and like, you know what I mean? And technically, it's easier for them because Kingdom Hearts doesn't have to worry about making a world map. They just have to worry about making any given section and making it vast and explorable. Like the closest they came would have been the Pirates of the Caribbean level in Kingdom Hearts 3. Cause like that entire map lives rent free in my head. Like just the scale of it for a Kingdom Hearts game, you know? Like I remember us doing that like on a Saturday or Friday and Saturday night and just being like mesmerized by the, um, by how much you could do. And just being out there on the water, man, it was just, you know, cause I'm a pirate at heart. You know, I'm all about like stealing that booty. So it's like it, it, it resonated with me, man, being out there on the water, my pirate cap, my pirate clothes, you know, all that. <laughs> but um, I hope they put the FF in Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, I noticed they didn't have any FF characters for real in KH3. Not sure what uh was going on there, but you know. One of my favorite levels in Kingdom Hearts 3, though, besides the Pirates of the Caribbean, was, I think, Rapunzel's level. Like, the vibe, the music. It was just a cool-ass level, man. I liked it a lot. Like, I genuinely remember loving that level. It's somewhere in the ethos. It's somewhere on a past stream on my Cloudy Mid Gaming YouTube channel. You'd have to dig, dig, and it's not that deep. But, like, it's out there um, in a playlist. Because a lot of you might not know this, we we went through every Kingdom Hearts game. I called it the Kingdom Heart Attack Marathon. It even had a shirt to commemorate it, you know? Like a handful of the squad has that shirt. And it's uh, just, it was it was representative of good times, man. Not that these are bad at all. Like I'm literally chilling and side questing, but you know, it's good times. Love a revisit, exactly, Vadix. You gotta love it. Uh, Tangled. Yeah, Kingdom of Corona. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I like that a lot. And this part of the music, this is a weird memory, but it makes me think of um, this movie called First Kid. It's about this kid. It's like the president's son. It's an old movie with like Sinbad and shit, but it's about the president's son and he wants a normal life, but he's a little shit about it. Uh, so then Sinbad gets assigned to him as like a guard or security agent, whatever. And, uh, you know, that whole, like, hey, you know, we hate each other right now, but some inciting incident makes us like bind and then we're cool. And it's like, hey, I'm your bodyguard. It's, it's a good movie. It's a classic. But anyway, one part of this music, one movement, one section, I don't know what you call it. It makes me think of that movie every time I hear it. All right, where are we going? Uh, yeah, Childish, you remember. Classic, man. You should you should go watch it in your spare time, man. Crank that up. I got the DVD, you know? Because I'm a happy-ass millennial. But uh, I watched it like a couple months ago. Crank that bitch up, threw it on the PS4 upstairs. <laughs> uh, all right let's see uh oh it's on disney plus uh panadonia canceled ours uh, she's trying to cut uh save money so she was like eh, we don't need it and i was like well i don't watch it that much anyway so i didn't care and i never bothered to re-sign up for it like i could but i just i don't care for it that much you know uh he gets his ass kicked by the dude from Home Improvement. Yeah, he sure does. The the blonde son, I think. Yeah. Whooped his ass. <laughs> Guess long. Whooped his ass. All right, let's fight this. Uh... Easy. You're up. Right. With me. That's that. Now. <laughs> <laughs> 
All done. Oh yeah. This uh crystal sword that I'm using is kind of growing on me. Because it looks straight out of FF14. Like it looks like someone took a piece of the crystal tower and just smithed it into a sword, you know? Um she's smart. Yeah. Was Disney still doing away with Disney Plus? Oh no. All right, so we need to navigate this entire section of the map. We need to unlock that, that excavation site for transmuter chips. Cloud, I found a new place for transmuter chips. I'm better than you in every way, shape, or form. I am a cyborg, and apparently, I love to play Queen's Blood, which makes no sense at all. All right, let's see. Where's the... Ah, uh, bingo! Yeah. This part. This is first kiss. That one little section. I'm, I'm, I know it sounds like I'm just, like, being obsessive. I'm just saying. My ears always tune in on that. Always. All right. What up, Ziggy Zig Zag? What's happening? Wasn't the crystal sword an OG? It probably was, man. You probably know better than me if you've played it recently. I haven't. Mm -hmm. Okay, Childish, you can hear it, but, but I was making sure I'm not going crazy, man. I was like, I keep mentioning this, and I don't know if people are sitting at home like, eh, Cloudy, shut up, man. <laughs> you know, that old chestnut. What up, that Jake Dole? What's good, Shane? Hope you're loving the game, Cloudy. I am. I really am, because... I love this game so much. Let me tell you guys a story. Anyone who's been following my streaming career, um, I don't really do side quests that much. I don't know if you caught on to that or not. I don't really, I don't side quest like that. I'm usually like, I get in, I get out, you know what I'm saying? Like I get that MSQ, get that story. And then I'm like, cool. <laughs> but for FF7, because I have so much respect, that I put on the name of this game, I'm like, nah, man, I want to do a side quest. Because originally I was going to do this off stream, but I'm like, you know what? Might as well do it, you know, while I'm chilling. Um, <laughs> ramble whenever you want. Now I have a new movie to watch. It's a classic, man. If you like those feel good 90s films, um, you'll definitely love it, man. Um, side quest uh, in this game. Feel like straight up main story that's right yeah yeah so one beautiful thing about this game is um flow bro 23 months what did you expect um flow bro said i gotta read this in flow bro's voice hang on <laughs> once again of your everyday journey to becoming better version of yourself is easier and easier, bro. Also, finding more ways to bring laughter and light to people's souls. Much love, man. <laughs> I appreciate that, Flo, bro. You my dog, Flo, bro. <laughs> uh, this is a side quest. I'd love to see you do on stream if you're down. Um... Yeah, I'm just kind of vibing, man. Like, I, I want to have that feeling of not knowing what's coming until it comes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to stumble. Like, remember when I stumbled upon uh, Akita in Calm Town and he was singing, doing his songs? That was a good feeling. Like, nobody in the chat was like, hey, go wander around Calm Town and you'll find Akita. That's what made it more special. You know what I'm saying? Um, all right, let's kill these... Uh, they look like Valifor from 10. We do this fast. Whoa. That was something else. Oh, fun fact. Um, <laughs> Zelenor's original name was almost a uh, Valifor, uh, like a deviation of Valifor. Like it started, I remember it started with a V. And I was like doing a bunch of like Vala, Vala something. So in a parallel universe, Zelenor's name was almost Vala something. And then I was like, nah, I like Z. I like the Z sound. 
but I named her Zelenor. And then she became the bane of my existence. Uh-oh. Transmuter chip. Gotta get the transmuter chip. Right now. Digging. Chuckabo digging, bitch. Chuckabo. Wait, I can't say bitch. Kids might be watching. Chuckabo beacon. Chuckabo. Chuckabo. Chuckabo digging the ground. What's that sound? Ooh. Yeah. Uh. Valentina for new, man. That's. You're doing too much now, girl. So she could be Bala fornicated with. Maddox, what the hell? Get out of here, man. You're, yeah. <laughs> you're done. You're done, Shane. You're done. <laughs> you out. Uh, <laughs> Riku and me will take care of Danielle Porta Potty for you. I like that you call her Danielle, too. Like, intentionally run over a name. It's like, I feel like someone would do that. It's like, oh, Danielle. It's Danielle. Whatever. But yeah. I'm not going to hold you guys. That. What happened in episode uh, 11, I won't say in case people are tuning in and haven't seen it. Um, I, now mind you, nothing that crazy. Like I've never been canceled for something like that. Like I've never put hands on a woman like that, but, or been accused of that, thank God, knock on wood. <laughs> but like, I have had people like misunderstand me and try to cancel me for it. So like that whole sequence, that was like semi-autobiographical. Like loosely, loosely, like a flat tire of looseness based on my uh, life as a content creator. All right, that's pretty cool. Okay. Oh. Also, you did a very good job entering my voice. <laughs> that's what, man. I'm trying to be a voice actor, trying to be a throat. Go. Oh, Still working on it. I need to make a reel, but I haven't figured out the best format. Like, I haven't figured out if I should take images of like a character and try to throw a random voice on it and then make a reel of that or because Panadonia keeps reminding me she's like hey babe you need to make a reel if you want to get into voice acting make a damn reel and I'm like yeah I'll do it and then I get sidetracked editing streaming doing everything else but you know what I mean like my uh the biggest vote of confidence I got was uh one of our mods uh, Fooly, he's not here tonight, but like, I, um, oh, hell yeah. Oh, I can make a wise Fox bracelet, hell yeah. And Missy Lord on three months. I got you, dog. Hold on, I'll wait for this pomp and circumstance to go. Because sometimes Chatley will pop up on the little, yeah. What did you expect? Oh, yeah. Uh, but no, shout out to our mod, Fooly. So, like, He's a really chill dude. You know, anyone who's talked to him in Discord voice chat, he's hella chill. So like, as a joke, I think during uh, Persona 3, I think the chat was like, hey, imitate Fooly, or try to. And I was like, uh, okay, uh, I'll try to make something up. Sup, homies? Maybe we could uh, watch Cloudy play FF7 uh, Rebirth. And like, yeah, yeah, Kaizen did it, yeah. So, like, ever since then, Fooly's taken that sound bite, and he's let his homies hear it, like, outside of what I do, outside of the community. And they thought it was him. And I was like, oh, that was me who did that. So, like, that let me know I have the skill. I just have to hone it. You know, I have to uh, put a lot of work in. You know what I mean? Um, have you seen Napoleon Dynamite before, Cloudy? I guess I have. Idiot. Gosh. Freaking idiot. <laughs> Ziggy. <laughs> in fact, I wish they had ligers in this game, man. Just have Cloud hunting freaking ligers and hunting wolverines. <sighs> I need some chapstick. <laughs> uh, I'm going to meet him. Hell yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, Let's see. I appreciate that flow, bro. But yeah, man, like... I want to get in the voice acting world. Like, I just want... If we're looking at life, like, leveling up your stats, I'm a 100% bard. And I think uh, this chick in the cosplay scene told me this years ago. Uh, 
she was like, Cloudy, you're pretty much like a bard. You're, you're just like all about entertainment in different forms, whether it be music, dance, your videos, whatever. And I was like, huh. So that's like stuck to me. So like my job class in real life is basically bard. I mean, if you want to get technical. So I feel like voice acting is in the realm of bard ship. Dumb, bard dumb, bard, bard life, bard, bard. Bard work, bard, you know. So yeah, I'm gonna cosplay as Napoleon Dynamite when I meet him. Hell yeah. All right. Uh... Oh. Okay. All right. So we've unlocked all of this, and what hurts me is I'm not gonna bust ass to win Fort Condor on a stream, but like I gotta come back and redeem myself for this at some point. But let's get this tower over here. That's like the first one we were supposed to get when I got here, <laughs> and I didn't do it. Like I, I did everything, but um, I had a vote for Pedro shirt that I wore for a while until it got worn out. Yeah, yeah. Vote for Pedro. Pedro was awesome, man. Like, I remember one line in that movie. I think he says, "Build her a cake" or something, and I don't know why that stuck to me, but he said, "Build her a cake." But yeah, Pedro was the man. And you know what? I have so much respect. I have so much respect for actors and entertainers who they don't shy away from those roles that made them. You know, because some people, I imagine, they get big, and then they'll look at a role they did a long time ago, like, oh, I don't, I don't do that anymore. That's that's beneath me. And uh, I have a lot of respect for the ones who kind of jump over that. Uh, it's what you're skilled at. Bar did none. <sighs> Crownless, you want me to snatch your sword, dog? Pause. You want me to <laughs> vanquish your, your mod ship with these weird ass jokes? I don't even understand. This man said bar did none. What? <laughs> what? That's gotta be that New York humor, man. I can't relate. I'm a Southern dumbass. I can't, does not compute. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Like I'm, I'm absent-minded about certain things, but I consider myself, well, I can't consider myself anything, but I like to hope that I'm not uh, fitting the stereotype that everyone has about Alabama and the South and all that shit. Um, Cause I, I remember years ago I was, I don't remember. I was still in my late teens, I think. And we were at the beach, me and some friends. And one of those nights, I think I was just outside, just on the beach, just roaming. And uh, we met this group. There was like a little huddle of people. And I'm assuming they were from like Milwaukee or something. So, you know, Milwaukee. But the more we talked, the more we spoke, they were like blown away by our, uh, I guess our accents, you know, our Southern accents. And, you know, we don't hear them because we live here. Like, we talk to each other all the time, so it's just what we sound like. But they were blown away. And the way they were laughing at it, it was almost in this kind of like, like we're dumb. Dangerous I don't know. May be in the vicinity. Exercise caution. Rare Tonadu variant identified. Oh, wow. Commencing guidance protocol. During this time of year, Tonadus migrate to the Junon region to seek out mates. They build their nests far from civilization and raise their young in pairs. In terms of duties, it often falls to the males to search for food. Unfortunately, when food is scarce, they may occasionally venture into towns and cities where they have been known to attack humans. As Shinra's activities continue to disrupt the ecosystem, such attacks will only grow more frequent. On that note, please take care not to become a snack during your investigation. Right. Um, I've always wanted to be a VA. First, the throat goat. Now, snatching swords. Well, that Jake, though, you know what time it is. Time out. <laughs> you know exactly what time it is, my G. Ah, one way ticket to Timehouse Bill. Ah, oh, man. Um, howdy, y'all. Howdy, y'all. Exactly, Axel Hart. <laughs> Exactly. Because <clears throat> some people, they'll be surprised when I tell them I'm from Alabama. I mean, you can hear it when you listen to me talk, but, you know, I know interactions I've had with people when they find out where I'm from, especially as a content creator, like, 
I've talked to some people through DM, and they're like, yeah, we should collab and do whatever. They're, what are you, West Coast, East Coast? I'm like, no, I'm from Alabama. And like, oh, really? Like, almost like it's a shock, like telling people you, I don't know, like pineapple on pizza or some weird shit like that. So, you know, that's always interesting. All right. I need to assess you. Do I have assess? Do I have assess? No, I don't. So you know what? I'm, oh, damn, I'm getting beat. I'm getting my ass beat. Oh, got the midair beat down, man. All right, pass. That's why I picked you. Aw, oh, man. All right, we gotta deep. Do I have deep protect anything? Poison this bitch. Now nah, put poison on it. No, wait, wait. I don't have it. Bio. Yeah, put, put Biora. <gasps> Biora? I didn't know Bio had a... That means there's a Biaga? They got a Biaga? Oh, no. Uh, have you ever had mashed potatoes on pizza? It's surprisingly good. I'll tell you this, Majik, the Fireborn. I was about to time you out for that comment, but that's actually... That, that works, because I used to eat french fries with pizza. And, uh... Mashed potatoes is not, you know, pretty much the same thing. Oh, we didn't stagger it. Okay, okay. We didn't stagger it. Man, we didn't stagger it. Okay. But nah, I've had this talk before when in, in the talks of pizza. And for whatever reason, it's been around me my entire life. I don't know if this is a Southern thing or if they do this around the world, but I remember in school, all the other students were putting like ranch on their pizza. My sisters would put ranch on their pizza. And I just remember being, like sitting there like, why? <laughs> Why? I, I I couldn't I, I couldn't understand, man. I couldn't uh I didn't get it. I didn't get it. We do that here in the Midwest. Uh okay, so it's everywhere. Rare Tonadu variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. Oh wait, wait, wait. No 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 no. We got a hill. Tonadu's migrates the Junon region. My shut up! My be quiet! <laughs> All right, we gotta find the magic that staggers it. So maybe it's fire. Let's try fire. Burn it. Because nope. if I kill it, it's like, no, nah, okay, so it's not that. Thundara. Don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it. Don't kill it. Don't kill it, don't kill it. Don't matter! Stagger, stagger! Stagger City! Uh, yes. Hell yeah. Um, what's up, Rolo? Ranch is gross. It is, but putting it on pizza, I will say this. I might try it one day. And by one day, I mean on my deathbed, but like, I would probably do that before I did pineapple on pizza. Like, uh, you know, because we talked about this, me and hot fruit, we don't get along. So, <laughs> you know, um, little whole wheat. It's delicious with ranch. Okay. What's up, Raven the Goddess? What's good? Hi, yo. I think we talked about this. So, Raven, you're the, uh, you're the thick Raven, I think. I'm pretty sure. And I'm, I don't mean that disrespectfully. Like, I never... I have to get that disclaimer because I don't want people thinking I'm, like, trying to mack on their women. Uh, but I try to get, like, a mental image of the person to the name. And I'm pretty sure you're Thick Raven, if I'm not mistaken. So what's happening? Uh, here we go. Where's my twin? I could be wrong. I mean, I don't... You know, 
Like I said, I, I lose track of the names on social media because, you know. Oh. Damn! That was the fastest. <laughs> What's up, Jamie? What's happening? Cheddar jalapeno dip is the way to go. Cheddar jalapeno dip sounds like it'll keep you on the john for at least three hours and 13 minutes. I don't think that's, that doesn't sound appropriate. Wouldn't recommend it. And I'll tell you this. Does anyone remember that Tears of the Kingdom stream where uh, I was uh, afflicted with the BGs and I was like sweating and shit and I had to leave? That was because I had um, these things called tortas uh, from the little uh, Mexican food stand near my house. And they put like a bunch of jalapenos in it. It was really good. It was delicious going down. But coming out, man, jalapenos, we don't have to go there. But, uh, you know, <laughs> an image of them yams. No, nah, Rolo, not like that. I'm not like, anyway. It might be a different Raven, I forgot. But um, yeah, man, jalapeno cheddar dip sounds dangerous. Dangerously cheesy, for sure. So I will say this, I'm getting better with my aerial combat. Because I know I need that for the dragon. I gotta get high and like tear up his wings. You know? My name screams crazy hair. Well, I mean, you have the word wild in your name, so <laughs> one could deduce that, you know. <sighs> but how's everyone doing, man? Let me, let me shift the focus a little bit. How's everyone doing out there? Everybody chilling, vibing, relaxing. Probably just got off work. Probably chilling on the couch, chilling in the computer room. I say computer room, that sounds weird. We're in the future. There's no such thing as a computer room anymore because every room you're in is a computer think about that as i uh connect the wi-fi here like um well when i was younger i'm not gonna age everyone else but when i was younger we had a computer room which was literally downstairs it was the one family computer but i keep I, like i still call my office that despite the fact that i have literally a pc down here a PC in the office, my phone, everyone's phones is a PC. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, <laughs> it sounds weird to say a computer room, but I, I'm stuck in my old ways, for, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, exactly, big chilling in my office. Yeah. I think that's how my creative juices flow the best, because like, I've decorated my home office with everything I love, like anime, video game posters all over the wall. Um, even fan art people have sent me, like I have a wall, of a uh, fan art like they'll send me physical like creations they've done sometimes so like that always it centers me you know if we're talking like what is it um yoga and all that stuff it centers me when i can sit in that room and look at the you know it's like all your hard work and effort looking back at you and saying That's what it feels like. <laughs> Fan arts of cloudy character are crazy. Was there an Artie Mac one? Yeah, I've seen plenty of Artie Mac uh, fan art for sure. Absolutely. And actually, I kind of came full circle. So earlier, I posted my first Sora versus anybody video in a long time. And like when I did it, I was like, this feels good. And this actually circles back to what I was talking about earlier how some actors and entertainers, they'll hit a point where they feel like, oh, I can't do this character anymore, it's beneath me. I've done too much to debase myself to like the base stuff. But honestly, like I had a good ass time doing Luffy versus Sora. It reminded me of the pandemic. The, let me, let me rephrase that, that sounds horrible. Not the horrible aspect of the pandemic, but the, the forced creativity, you know? Like what a lot of people don't realize, and I think I've said this before, me, as a creator, the pandemic like forced me to just like spit my brain out in my house every day. And like that was cathartic. It was therapeutic for me because I love to create. You know what I mean? 
I mean, I love my friends. I love hanging out with them and making content with them or like we used to. But like for me, that was uh, like it birthed a lot of things that people are like really into now, like Final Fantasy boss battle, the Sora videos, you know, all my best ideas seem to come when I was in solitude. So it's like, I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look at how far I've come for sure. Okay. Uh, wait, are we going the... Okay, I was about to say, if I didn't hit the goal I was supposed to, I, I got the rambling and I lost track of what I was doing. Uh, part of me wants to go get this. My OCD is kicking in. We got to ungrade this. This ashy spot on the map. This this ashy portion on the map here, as you can see, there's a patch of ash. Uh, we need to put some jurgens on this right here. So we're going to go back. Gonna loop. A circle back and then we're gonna do that oh, all right um... oh i see something out in the water that looks oh no that's just the tower i activated and dumped okay so if i go this way yeah just a couple feet that oh that'll kill me okay that'll kill me that's my death that's my grief oh man i just had a horrible flashback okay i'm gonna say this i don't want to I don't want to put too much emphasis on what it's about because it's a really it's a really it's a heavy topic um and i don't want to it's just an awkward thing to talk about but like there's this movie called uh the lovely bones that i ended up seeing years ago um and that is probably one of the most depressing movies i've seen ever i won't go into detail it's just this gravel pit it made me think of that movie because of one particular part that like really hits home the depression like it really like if this is the coffin this gravel pit scene is like the hammer into that coffin but um yeah man yeah that's uh that movie hurt like even thinking about it now like my heart feels weird because like it's yeah if you know, you know, but I'm not going to like say anything about it just because it's one of those topics that, you know. All right, uh, let's get the choker ball. Let's get down there. Now, part of me is hoping that when I go to this patch of ash, I'll find some treasure, just like a box or something, just to make the trip worth it, you know? I probably won't, but that don't matter. Oh, and while I'm here, I might as well, since I'm just fooling around. I keep getting people telling me, hey, Cloudy, make a podcast, make a podcast, right? And I'm down for it. Now, out of curiosity, like, what kind of stuff should I talk about? Because I don't want something basic. Like, I kind of want to just talk about random shit, like I'm doing now. But I want to at least have a structure to it, you know? But like I'm debating on if I should find a niche, find that pocket and stay in it. Or yo, I'm not even close. What the? I went way off. I went way off. Okay. I went way the hell off. Okay. Uh your FF journey, your career, spa house, people you like, artists you're into. So pretty much just talking about anything. I mean, I have stories of my life I can tell people, but maybe I should save those for just like like I've talked about them a little bit like just in passing like when i'm doing shit like this but you know i have like days when i was in a rock band i could talk about you know like sleeping at parking lots and like racist grandparents of a drummer like just crazy stuff you know but yeah, i'll hold that i'll hold that i'll keep that i'll keep that close to the hip <laughs> i'll keep that close to the hip for now all right but appreciate that guy mm. All right. Uh, so to get to this gray spot, they really want me to work for it. Like they want me to, unless that's the game's way of saying, "Hey, man, just don't worry about it. You can't, you can't get in here. You thought you could, but you can't." Yeah, it's not worth it. I thought it was, and then I, I, I wised up. So let's go over here. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, 
But yeah, if I do make one, I'm going to talk about anything. Just because... I don't know, man. I kind of... And this might sound bad. I don't mean any disrespect to other creators or whoever. Sometimes I see some creators and there's like this weird like vibe of the mask they're wearing is, is too hard. Like it's too, they don't want to be real. They'd rather just be like perfect at every corner. Like, I don't know, to avoid cancellation, to avoid just being open and honest. I don't know, man. Like I kind of want to just, I want to be like Cloudy the human, Cloudy the, uh, yeah, Cloudy the human, you know, like. That's kind of the vibe I want to... I mean, I've already do that. I already do that now. Like, anyone who knows me or watches me or listens to me, they know I'm pretty... Uh, when I say rough around the edges, I don't mean, like, in the conventional sense of, like, oh, he's a piece of shit. He went to prison for five years. Nothing like that. I'm just not, uh, you know... Like, let's say, let's say it like this. Like, if we're thinking about the FF creators out there right now, like, when I look at their stuff, it's very, like... I won't say perfect, but it's like they got a good, good image. They have a very good, yeah, Final Fantasy. I'm at this event, smiles, laughter, jubilation. And that's totally cool. Like, I love that. But for me, I feel like I'm kind of ratchet. <laughs> like, I love Final Fantasy, but like, I'm kind of, I don't know. Like, if they're over here, I feel like I'm over here. And not in like a pretentious way. I just mean like, you know, it's my personality. Like, I have no filter, so, like, I, I kind of just spew off whatever's on my mind. And I don't know if that ever hurts or harms Be my... Uh, guard, uh -oh. I'm picking up a monstrous signal. <sighs> Rare Zemzalet variant identified. Commencing <sighs> guidance protocol. Zemzalets are known as the sages of the sky. <sighs> Not only because of their intelligence, but also their remarkable <sighs> feathers that make them both elegant and lethal. These feathers have been prized by all manner of craftsmen since antiquity for their beauty and resilience. Arrows fashioned from them are particularly valuable. They're said to slice the air so I'm quickly, ready for you. they're capable of solid stone. Ready? Oh, they can oh. be so entranced by their ability. All right, we need to figure out what they're weak against the fast. All right, so it's not that. Barrett, what you got? Blizzard, try that. Do it. All right, it's, it's ice. It's ice. Damn it, man. Do it. So it's definitely Blizzara. Okay, so let's try it again, but with the blizzard magic. We should be able to get it all. No. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, thank you all, Mary. I, I try to be a real one. Or not even try, I just... I try to keep the realness in a safe, in a safe parameter, you know? Not too real, but real enough. Okay. Uh, okay. Alright, so all we gotta do is hit him with the, uh, hit him with Blizzard really quick before they can even do anything. Wow, do you have any Blizzard magic? Hmm. Let's take gravity off. I don't even use gravity magic. Like, not, not for real. Not like that. <clears throat> Yeah, exactly. When keep get real, goes wrong. Those should be me and Kenji's favorite skits, man. Those were hilarious. Uh. All right, that'll work. Alright, 
Lazara on this one. You're up. Come on. Deal with that. I got it. Oh, it's coming up. Enough. We've accrued a lot of great data. Thanks to you. Thank you. I try. Oh, we need to transmute some items. It just hit me. We need to transmute. Uh, there's a lot of stuff we can. Hmm. All right. So. Yeah, let's get that craftsmanship up. Let's, um, Mega Potions. Did not, yeah, okay, we we can, we have to unlock it. We have to get to level nine and then we can, okay, okay. So if I do these, uh, these little ones, let's see how much, um, trying to see if it even moves the, the juice at all. I don't think so. Uh, okay. So with the transmuter, is it more so about just crafting as much as you can, or certain items will boost the level of your, uh, or what have you? Like, is the game saying, hey, you have to craft this higher level stuff? Like, if I sat here and tried to craft like a billion potions, would that count towards my level eight craftsmanship? But let me see, let me, let me test that theory. I'm looking, I have 170 EXP right now. If we craft three missed potions, let's we'll see what happens. Okay, now nah, it doesn't go towards the overall experience, it looks like, so... Okay. Um, I guess they want you to just craft other, other things, like this. Okay, I've never crafted one of these. Maybe this counts as a... Yeah, it does. Okay, okay. First time crafts is what levels you up, I see. Learn by doing. That's how, that's how we do it, okay. Like these two, I've never crafted these before, so that will. Well, I thought it would. Yeah, I was wrong. Yeah, because those aren't moving. Okay. <clears throat> never mind. My theory, uh, <laughs> it came and went. Came and went. Ah, there we go. Bingo. I can do a. Okay. Eels, yeah. Oh, we definitely need that missed mega potion. That's next on the list for sure. But being able to craft mega potions, period, that's gonna help a lot. Cause we couldn't craft these before, like when I was fighting the dragon. Real talk, like that was probably all I needed in terms of leveling up, just a way to heal myself quick enough to not die. But, you know. All right, so let's go south. <laughs> Yeah, I feel cooler when I collect the materials. Like I'm foraging for the transmuter ingredients. Like buying them is cool, but it doesn't hit the same. Not for me at least, you know? Okay, if I go up the, ah, there we go. Oh. Ooh, nice. Okay. The tower is right there. Okay, we have to get up there. Get it. Hmm. Okay. 
area is nice but Costa del Sol is different yeah every location has its own like aesthetic like vibe about it you know even when we're in Corral and it's just nothing but rocks and mountain even that's still beautiful you know what I mean okay um go north I think I'm on the right path but yeah this will take me yeah, I can at least get these these two. I see the path goes north, you go east, and it loops all the way down. Got it. Okay. Pirates of the Caribbean. I find it strange. I haven't seen a single uh, Moogle treehouse since the grasslands, unless it only spawns in that one area. Maybe that's probably the case. But, like it seems weird. I wouldn't have, you know, Bring I would have found some other ones. Yeah, the Moogle house, the grassland. I'm guessing that's like the home base. It's not like 
they're not like mushroom houses in Mario where they're in every world. Maybe that's what. Wait, am I looking at what the hell? Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at the background. Look at the background. Are you kidding me? I ran right past it as I'm talking about it. What the shit? Bruh, what kind of timing? Nah, man. Hold up, hold up. I just happened to look in the background and see. <laughs> Yo, I know, right? Uh, Gil Galagadu. Like, I don't. Hold up, we gotta visit that now. See the koala, the weird koala moogles. You know, they have been summoned. I mean, you guys agree that was weird timing. That time, look at, look, you can see it in the corner over there. That's bananas. That's banana pudding. Yeah. But no, I, if Square Enix were to deliver a patch, like a particular kind of patch, it would be a request to make the Moogles look like Moogles. I love koalas, don't get me wrong, but Moogle koalas, I don't know, man. It's just a bit much. But they mean well, and they have cute voices, so it's all good. You know, I can look past the, uh, the what have you. Now I gotta figure out how to get up there. That's the catch. I think there's a rock wall we can climb. Give me the Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced Moogles. I'm assuming those are like just regular Moogles. I'm not sure. I never played Tactics, but I'll take your word for it. I've heard tech is a good is a good game and I think they used some tactic stuff in FF14 everyone was telling me we did some a raid or something that was tactics based all right the mushroom no I'm way nah that ain't it what the no I was trying to get my bird what, what the uh. You know what sucks? I'm feeling cocky right now. I haven't leveled up a ton, but I don't know why, but I feel like if I went back to fight the dragon now, refreshed, I'd be fine. Only problem is I'd have to restart that entire dungeon, like from scratch. The the tower, which sucks. So I feel like if I go back, I'm gonna wait until I'm like I don't know. Until I flex nuts all over this world. Is there a treasure over here? Let's see, maybe. Uh, what up, little Nicoletta Chimpkins? What's a Chimpkin? <laughs> What's a Chimpkin, Nikki? Uh, Vagrant Story, Tactics, and 12 are all in the same world, but different timeline. But, uh, uh, uh. but you know what? Despite these deformed ass Moogles, you cannot listen to the Moogle song and not feel just giddy inside. Like, I still keep uh, Magnet Central on repeat sometimes from FF9. Like, I don't know. A chicken. <laughs> good, good. Just doing some, uh, as the title suggests, level up and chill. I'll tell you this, Nikki. I, um, I was playing the... Up all the Mooglets for me? But I did that last time. But, oh, Mischief Level 2. Oh, we got Mischief Makers. Hang on. Let me talk. Let me talk for a second. Um, last time we played this, Nikki, I was fighting a dragon. And uh, I didn't have the proper credentials to get past said dragon. So the dragon said, access denied. And so uh, here I am leveling up. So, <laughs> okay. I'm one of three people that actually like this Moogle design. Oh, you like it, that Jake, though? You like this design? Damn, that's crazy, bro. 
That's crazy. You know what else is crazy? Time out. Ooh, uh, you're on the losing team, my G. You're on the losing team, my boy. You know, you gotta go, man. All right. All right, let's get these little moogles. Oh, you can't get hit by any of their, uh, their shenanigans. That's right. I got this. Come here, Mosh. Come here, Mosh. I can't jump the fence. I can't jump the fence. I thought I could jump the fence. Oh, shit. Get in the world with bitch. Damn. Oh. Oh, you got to pick him up. Okay. Wow. All right, Mosh. I didn't realize that was the mechanics of this. Okay, we're here. Get in here. See, I didn't realize I was supposed to put them in the... Okay. Come here. Little shit. What? I was about to say. Come on, man. Oh. Bombs? You little shit. Come here. Ah. Ah. Man, they got two Moogle balls on my head. Alright. I ain't going out like that. Uh huh. In the whirlwind. You little shit. Oh damn. Oh. You're giving up, Koopa. <sighs> What's up, Sunny Nights? Sunny Nights. You know what I just realized? Your name is an oxymoron. A sunny night. Think about that. It's nighttime, but the sun is shining. It, it just it just hit me you are a walking oxymoron my dear you see what i'm saying you see what i'm saying this the, 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 the. Bruh. Bruh. all right let's try this again man let's not get any hits no balls to the head i ain't about that life more power to people who like balls on the head i'm just i can't do it all right, get over here. Get, 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 get up. Get in the, get the, get in the shit. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the thing. I got you. I got you. Just get in the pit. Yeah, get in the playpen. Get in the playpen. Get in the playpen. There you go. Yeah, let's get a flawless victory. Damn. Oh, shit. Get in the, get in that whirlwind. Oh, shit. D damn. Come on! Come on! Oh, the little mischief makers, man. Just like the game that I grew up on. All right, in this damn playpen, man. Sick of playing with you, dog. Uh, what's up, Airy Smash? What's good, <laughs> man? All right, we we need a new strategy. That being, don't. All right, don't fall on the bananas. Get, hey, get in that whirlwind. Get in that. Hey, come here. And hey, let me talk to you for a second. I'm not gonna hurt you. Just go here to the son of a bitch. Uh, right, let me get this one. Let me get watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch how slick I am with it. Get in that whirlwind, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Had a charge. All right, I got you. I got you. I got you. Get in the playpen. There you go. Two balls to the head. It's cool. It's fine. Everything is okay. Everything is all right. All right. Shit! Not the bananas. Mario Kart this bitch. All right. I'm safe. It's in the water. It can't touch me. It can't hurt me. Hey, yo! Ugh. 
they littering in the water? Man, it's like baby's kids as moogles, man. What is this bullshit? Come on, dog. Oh, what the? Ma landmines? Oh, no. You gotta die. I mean, going to whirlwind. I can't kill you here, but if I could. Nah. Nope. Walk it up. Bitch. Come here. Come here. Uh-huh. You little demon koala. You little albino koala. Get in there. All right. Who's we got left? Moki. Oh, shit, Moki. It's two balls to your... Did somebody just fly by? Am I tripping? All right, anyway. All right, Moki. What's happening? What's happening, Moki? What you... Nah, I don't... <laughs> don't run from feet. I am inevitable. You heard of Thanos? I'm Klanos. Nah. Come here. Come here. You little shit. You little shit. <sighs> Alright, Moki. Alright. I'm about to charge it. I'm about to charge it. I'm about to charge it. Get that one win! Get that one win, bitch! Yep. <laughs> Alright. Alright. To the playpen you go. Oh, yeah. You're a lifesaver, Koopa. I, I know, right? Hey, Sunny Nights, listen. Despite your oxymoronic name, I do love you, girl. I love you, girl. Thank you for bringing all the back. It's such a relief the Emporium that Mog and Mag built together won't have to close down. You're a lifesaver, Koopo. Hell yeah. Oh, my bad. And you've been subbed for eight months. Let me hit you with this. What did you expect? Yeah, uh, is it Mog or Pog? Oh no, what's up, uh, Kim? Kubo! It's Mike. Are y'all hearing a weird glitch effect? Check, check, one, two, three, check, check, one, two, three. Kubo! Sorry, the Matrix has me. Um, <laughs> what's up, here. Chemistry Star Kubo! and uh, Grego? Over what's here. happening? Um. Oh, let me let me let me buy something off you. Let me. <laughs> what you selling, man? What you selling? Rubies, emeralds, precision defense focus material. I already got that. No, I don't. I don't. I actually don't. All right, I'm in script tones and martial arts here. Tifa skill points. Yeah, I'll take that. Have you read the FF7 book Traces of Two Pastas? Oh, Two Pass? No, I haven't, Super Saiyan Mike. I haven't. You know what? I'm going to buy this just, just to flex and say I bought out the whole mod shop. I don't even need it, you know? I'm just taking it. No, I'll take this ruby too. Uh, actually, no, I don't need that. I can get those anywhere. Feel free to drop by any time. <sighs> no, I'd rather not. You little shits have got on my nerves. Got my blood pressure up. Yeah, we're out of here. <laughs> we're out. We're gone. Uh, so we need to go up here. Right, right, right. So for anyone who's just now tuning in, let me tell you what we're doing. Uh, as the title suggests, level up and chill. I'm just going through the region, doing quests and such that I haven't done yet. Uh, see all this ashy area? Let's do it weatherman style. See on here on the east coast, we've got a lot of ash. We've got a surplus of ash along the coast here. Uh, so what I'm doing is visiting all these spots of interest uh, to hopefully alleviate that ash of the coast. And uh, just have a full, complete map. You know, that's what we kind of live for as gamers. That sense of completion, that validation. Uh, that can correlate to self-improvement and other areas in our life. So that's what we're trying to do right now. If you're tuning in, trying to get rid of all this ash. Or as much as we can. You know what I mean? <clears throat> you feel what I'm saying? 
It's illegal to be that ashy. Yeah, ash. Yes, I did. I did. You heard right, chemistry star. Uh, <laughs> need all the cocoa butters. I feel like the last time I saw you, Sunny Nights, I was playing like Tales of Arias or something. It's been a while. Because I think we were talking about like leftovers and you were supposed to bring me like a plate of something around like the holidays. I can't remember. I have a weird memory. It's very selective. Uh, but something in my memory bank is like Sunny Nights, she owes you some food or something. I, I can't remember. I, and you might, I might be mixing you up with someone else. I doubt it. Because, uh, you know. <laughs> I'm usually at work when you're alive. That's, that's fair. That's fair. And the fact that you chose to use your off time to hang with your boy. That's special. 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 Yeah. I like that. All right. We're going the right way. North. Well, actually, kind of more east, but, you know. Let's get back on the path. <laughs> I don't know about owing you food. I might have you mixed up with someone else. Don't worry about it. And I'm pretty reckless on the mic, so I'm probably just making shit up. All right. Did I climb this? Damn. I was hoping I could steer with my chocobo. It's fine. Yep. See, when I saw your Insta video a year ago, I was like, damn, this fella feels himself. Now I found your home base is good to be here. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is, I don't know if Twitch would be my home base. I mean, it is my base of operations since I'm a streamer. I guess home base would technically be my Discord, uh, which I didn't even care about years ago. Like, I didn't give a shit about Discord. I was like, eh, I don't really care to do anything with that platform. But now I'm, I love it. It's hella convenient. I post everything. I recently integrated my uh, Patreon into Discord, so like, I love it. It's like multifunctional. It makes me happy. Oh, yeah. Bingo. Yes. Oh. As a good, as a guitarist, I played Discord. Time out. <sighs> What's up, everybody? We're about two hours and 18 minutes into the Friday night level up and chill stream with your boy Cloudy McDoom, professional weirdo, streamer, gamer, singer, songwriter, video maker, the baby's mama. Baby's daddy. That's what it was. I'm not your baby's mama. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh... <laughs> no, dad jokes are allowed. It's just you do them at your own risk. Like, if the dad joke lands properly, and I'm like, ah, that was that was pretty clever. Technically, that Discord joke was clever because it was pretty on the mark. It's just the timing. The timing was, you know, I'm, I'm over here in front of the crystal. Vibing on the bear, what the hell? Come on, big dog. Uh, I'm over here by the crystal vibing. It just wasn't the right time, so I had to send out a shot, you know. <laughs> you know. Uh, right, let's go up. All right. All right, we're gonna keep going north. Yeah. How do those big ass birds climb cliffs? Well, sunny nights, Lady Oxymoron. 
their talons are so strong in this region, specifically, exclusively to this region, sorry, my ear itches, that they literally like clamp into the, the rock. You know what I'm saying? Like they clamp into the rock and just <laughs> See how I'm doing my hands like talons? That's what they do in this region. And these, and these here parts, they got them strong talons for rock climbing and shoe shining. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, must be them grassal, grassal greens, exactly. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go this way. Boom. But when you go to different areas, Certain chocobos will do different things. It's actually beautiful. It's lovely. It's like Yoshi's. Come out, come out wherever you are. Alright, pressure on enemy to get all enemy. Sure, we didn't stagger. We okay. That's gonna be fine. Most excellent work, Cloud. Is that battle proof a fitting test of your prowess? <laughs> your dissatisfied expression says it all. Oh yes, I noticed that as well. You aren't equipped with that functionality. Anyway, with the data from your latest bout, I created a new virtual combat trial. It will prove a real test. We gotta run that back. So to stagger these, we gotta find their weakness and then exploit said weakness. It's like Persona. So I bet it's fire. I'm gonna try fire. Let's try it. No, it's not fire. Like, they're so... They're weak, well, so it's like... You're always welcome to make another attempt. Okay, so... Damn. Alright, so... Maybe it is all magic, or... Let me try something. Let me switch to Punisher mode. And see if I can just, like, Rare carry their, uh... Okay, so that's the right thing. Next time, see if yeah. we clear all the objectives too. Let me think. If we wanted to kill an or stagger an enemy that we're too strong for, it wouldn't even matter about our um, equipment because our level is too high. Unless we had some kind of material that could switch our attack power for. Let me see. Oh, that didn't do anything. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, we might not be able to do this one. Um. Yeah, no, I'm just like crazy strong. What's up, first time chatter at Limitless Psycho? Man. That's fine. Uh, I can always come back to that one. Or, you know what? Aerith. She's pretty weak, so what if we... Let me try something. I'm bad settings. <clears throat> Take that. 
believe. I'm coming. Let's guidance protocol. I'm going to them at the lower end. Is that it? They're exceptionally oh. skittish creatures. Ice is the weakness. Okay. I think if everyone just casts Blizzard, like three weakness shots, that might do something. Maybe. I don't know. Let's get our MP up first. Somebody staggered it. Okay. What the? Somebody staggered it. I didn't even realize it was okay. Good. That works. I literally told myself I uh, will have to try again, but it's a clutch. <clears throat> All right. So that's good. Keep making our way north. Wait, there you are. <laughs> you know, Chocobo were like running away from each other. All right. Not that way. There it is, the goal. Oh, damn time. <laughs> Suck on this. Yeah, he's awesome. Get your ass out of here. Like, I love when he hits those, uh, those obligatory angry black man lines makes me happy. Makes it feel like home. All right, maybe I need to go down? Down into the, yeah. Yeah, okay, down and then to the ravine or whatever. All right, cool, cool, cool. <sighs> Do I wanna know a tip about staggering or just like? Nah, you know what? I can't let you tell me, man, because I feel like I'd be shitting on everyone else who I'm like, no backseating to. I feel bad. I feel like I'm, uh, you know. All right, I gotta go way down, okay. Mm, or do I? Mm, yeah, let's do it. Oh, we're in like no man's land. Okay, okay, okay. Honestly, I just love the Barrett trash talk to enemies. Me too. Like, that makes me happy. Because I trash talk the enemy every chance I get. 
my favorite phrase I've noticed is uh, get this work, bitch. But I usually say it in a really frantic way just to let them know I mean business. <clears throat> but to also make them panic. Get this work, bitch! You know, kind of like that. Uh, yep. Ah. Oh. All right. So if I kept going this way, I would eventually end up not where I need to be. So we need to somehow go backwards around this way. Right. There we go. There we go. I'm mostly trash talking the camera. <laughs> crunch, crunch. Yup. Mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. Man. Uh -huh. But nah, man, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling myself right now. I feel strong as hell. Now, it's not that I've even done much. I think it's a psychological thing. Like, if you do enough side quests, despite not seeing any real, like, level up signs, you just feel like I've done a lot. So I'm ready for a lot. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's weird. Like, I, I seriously feel like if I went to the, uh, the, um, temple, the Temple of Doom, I'd be ready, but I'll save that for next time. Because hopefully by then I've got a uh, side questing out of my system. You know? I would not want to get kicked by a chocobo. I don't think anybody would, especially these. If one of these uh, mountain climber chocobo kicked you in the chest, they're caving that shit in. Like, you, you're, you're dying. You're done. Internal bleeding, uh, hemorrhaging, blunt force trauma, all that shit wrapped in one. And one swift ass chocobo kick to the chest. Your chest might explode. Matter of fact, if one of these chocobos just, psh, your whole body might just, with, with the amount of force, uh, you know what I mean? Because I mean, if they're climbing rocks for fun, there's no telling what they do to like somebody's chest. Okay. Locate the treasure. Two out of two. Bad. So how do Okay, hold on, hold on. I feel like I just got deceived. I think the game was telling me if I go back this way and climb. Let's try that. Let's try that. All my uh training in Breath of the Wild has led me here. The chocobo summon from Crisis Court. Is that the one where Zach dances with it? No, that's um yeah, it is. Like, he stands there and he, like, jogs in place, I think. Yeah, I like that summon. All right, there we go. Found it. It's like right there. I'm down. Bro, I'm like right in front of it. Let's <laughs> say, don't play me like that. There go. Got an ether onion. Ooh. Okay. So we're still trying to get essentially over here, which means I still need to. Can't get in this water. It's too. Oh no, you can. Oh wow! Is it gonna let me go anywhere though? Nah, false alarm. They just wanted to watch me jump in the water. Wow. Uh, oh man, I don't see any climbable wall, so... Hmm. 
Yo, I'm Subimar, 29 months, let's get it. What did you expect? Thank you, thank you so much, Subimar. Matter of fact, let me look closer. So the 10K milestone, just so I know where how close we are, we're at 9564. So that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Love you, Subimar. Seriously, thank you for subbing for 29 months. It's a long ass time. I really appreciate it. Um, we're, uh, yeah, we're like a little under halfway there. You know, pretty cool. So anyone out there who's lurking, if you are, if you haven't followed yet, just, you know, go ahead and let that chime explode on the left side of your screen. And uh, it'll be a happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's see. Uh, how convenient would it be if I could just fast travel there? Uh, they wouldn't do me that. They wouldn't give me that. All right, let's walk over here. That. Was that something you're gonna do for the 10K milestone? Just a general goal. It's obviously it's uh it's it's for the flex, but you know, on what poll is this? Which would you eat? Oh, eating? Chocobo, Moogle, Marball, Pactuar Juice, and Kiru. Well, I will tell you this. They admitted to eating Chocobos in FF16. Like, they paraded that shit around town. Like, come eat this Chocobo meat, this fried Chocobo meat. So, well, yes, we ride them, but we also eat them. So, confirm. They eat Chocobos in the Final Fantasy world. Or at least in 16, since that one was meant to be very, uh, you know, <laughs> very real. You know what I mean? They had off camera decapitation, they had titties, they had, you know, everything. Only thing that sucked, well, I won't say sucked, but when I think about FF FF16, I wish they would have done more with uh, What's Her Face's storyline. Um, Garuda's icon because they show you a glimpse. I guess she had like a rough life and like when she got her power sucked out of her, she was like, oh man, I'm nothing again. Like that would have been cool to explore, you know? But you just kind of see that happen and then she's like, oh, well, she's gone. So I don't know, man. Ooh. Oh yeah, I hope this is Phoenix. Many legends about yes. Phoenix have been passed down. One tells of the great bird scouring the coast in search of a final resting place. A fisherman made it share the warmth of his fire. Phoenix dipped its feathers in the proffered flames, thereby rekindling its fading life force. Nice. Oh, so Phoenix, all of Phoenix uh, unlockables, they're in one path. Hell yeah. We all wish the main cast had more love. Yeah, because I mean, you know, just because they gave us a, a hint of it. Like, they hinted at it. I'll tell you, I'll, I'll be honest. I thought that she was going to lose her power. You get a sad backstory on her, and then she, like, helps you. But they were like, nah, this really is Game of Thrones. This is really Final Fantasy of Thrones. So what's the worst possible thing that could happen? Oh, yeah, she dies. <laughs> there you go. They're nothing. With me. Let's go. Now. Noish. Noish. Um, Torgo got a whole plot point about him just swept under the rug. Yeah, again, it was still a great game. Um, you know what I mean? It was, it was, it did, it did what it did. What's up, Scott Pilgrim? Have you played the Stellar Blade demo yet? You're the second person to ask me tonight. I have not played Stellar Cheeks. Uh, you know, I haven't played it yet. But it looks cool. It's definitely near Automata Energy. Two booty energy, absolutely. I'm assuming it's the same exact team uh, based on the ass physics I saw. You know, I, I get it. <laughs> I totally get it. But so what happened, Scott Pilgrim, is that FF7 Rebirth happened. And when this happened, it shut down everything else I was playing. Like, if you look, 
at my uploads on like the Cloudy McGaming channel, it's been nothing but this and what, maybe FF14 here and there. Uh, I haven't touched anything else really since, so, you know. Ah, here we go. We found Phoenix Sanctuary. <laughs> oh, yeah. I might fight Phoenix again. Like, now that I've uh, unlocked pretty much all the stuff here, for the most part. What's up, Big Owl 29? What's good? Would you eat Phoenix Nuggets? They're probably hot. They're probably, like, hot ones type spicy i feel like eating phoenix nuggets would burn the inside of your chest it would burn your body from the inside out like as soon as you put that in your stomach the hydrochloric acid in your stomach would just like not agree with it and just you combust you spontaneously combust on some incubus pardon me shit uh cactuar juice I eat chocobo meat. I mean, it's chicken. Like everyone loves chicken. Or I mean, when I say everyone, you know, people who eat meat. Crystal memory matrix. All right. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, exactly. Chocobo is just poultry. You know, I'm not saying I would eat my chocobo that I ride. Let me clarify. I wouldn't eat this chocobo that I've been riding around town. That wouldn't be cool. Unless it died of natural causes. Splendid synchronization. Let's hope our investigation of other shrines goes as smoothly. Okay. I feel like Phoenix Chicken would heal you like a sensu bean or something. I can see that. But then I see, I feel like the, the side effects would be spontaneously combusting. Like your body would say, oh man, I feel rejuvenated. I feel, I feel good. I feel a lot. And then all that's left is like smoking sneakers. You know, that's all that's left of you. All right. Uh, so now, Okay, so this is... All right, now we gotta go down the mountain to get to that one. Because I wanna fight Phoenix, but I wanna make sure I get all of uh, the, the altars cleared. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier, Scott Pilgrim. Every, uh, Scott Pilgrim, I mean, uh, FF16 ate the chicken, the chocobos with, with zero remorse, you know? Uh, man, there's a lot of... All right, so I feel like we got to find another path to get over there. Because in theory, I mean, I should be going towards it. Like, if I just go up this path, one of these pathways will lead me to where we're trying to get. Probably over here. I haven't been here, have I? Nope. There it is. There it is. There it is. This here's the crow's nest. Base of operations for our anti-Shinra activities. Sorry, but we're keeping things locked down after the trouble in under Juna. Oh, for real? Okay, so I can't even do anything here if I wanted to. Wow, okay. Got you, I hit a wall. That's all right. All right. What's up, Tira Osiris? How far am I in the story? So, I stopped technically at chapter 13 in the uh, 
the temple, the temple of whatever. Uh, and then I decided to quit and come out into the world and just kind of level grind and stuff. So that's where I am story-wise. Uh, damn, I can't believe we can't go in there. So I guess that means anything I try to explore over here, I mean, I'm pretty much hit a, I found my limit, which is there. But once we can get in there, I'm assuming we can go all the way. In. All right, let's fight Phoenix then. Let's just find, yeah, let's put hands on Phoenix. Cause I think I unlocked whatever I was supposed to. Try it, try it. <sighs> Touch grass in the game. Bet. Yeah. Where's Chadley? Where is he? Nah. No, he's outside. That's right. He's always outside of the uh, town or whatever you're right. What the hell is he? Try to find his little uh, computer music. Where's that little shit? Damn it, man. Oh, he's inside of the. Uh... Oh, now he's over here. Okay. Have I been playing Queen's Blood? Yeah, a little bit. I see like, you've secured yourself a rather intriguing vessel. I hope to create a ship of my own one day. Perhaps even an airship. You'll have to join me on its maiden voyage. Right. Uh, so let's see if Phoenix is leveled down. Okay. No, we're missing one, but I'm gonna try this one. I'm gonna try this, uh... Yeah, bring it here, then. She has Cura. And that comes in handy.
Nuggets. All right, I need Aerith the hill, so let me switch to her. Limit break. Here, do maximum fury. I should have put Cura on a uh, cloud. That was dumb. Yeah. need cure because we can't survive this yeah that's a wrap yeah, yeah that's a wrap yeah that was a wrap <laughs> okay yeah we all need cure magic for that yeah i think perhaps you're having an off day off. i look Somebody needs to stuff Chadley in a locker, man. Like, I don't condone bullying per se, but shh, asking for it. All right, wind. We don't really use them for this. So, what other? I have any more healing magic. Tifa and Aerith. All right, we'll bring Tifa back in because she's got Kira. Um, Aerith, she dies too quick. So, we'll bring Tifa in. I might have to buy another healing magic from a uh, little man. I don't have. TV selling any. TV selling Forward any. to seeing what new discoveries you make in your travels. Just sell me some material, man. Junon's Chocobo Ranch. Perhaps you were already aware, but the Chocobos here, unsurprising, given the local mm -hmm. industry. Are right, you got any healing? You got any, uh... No. No, okay. Well, in that case... Shut up. We'll switch... 
We'll take it off of Aerith for now. I'll give it to Cloud since I use him the most. You're going to give up here, huh? I'm going to put... Make sure Tifa's in the battle because she'll have... Oh. She's got healing. Oh, she has Magnify, but it's like hooked to that for some dumb reason. So take that off. Put Magnify there. Okay, so now... She uses that. I'm assuming if she uses Cura hook to magnify, it'll okay. Um, there's a vending machine, but oh, bet, bet. Um, many hazards await you on the road. It just Who's sucks because those are like level one, but I mean, at least I can level them up now. So we can't use items in there, so that's that's no good. Give this to Barrett, you know. Let him have some of that. Give him that level nada. <laughs> Alright, so cloud. Yeah. So, yeah, cloud needs to take Aerith's healing. Right, right, right. Because I took it off of her, so. It should be fair game. Yep. All right, let's try this again. <clears throat> Cloud, I have recreated. I encourage you to pit your skills against the summoned entity so that I might complete it. All right, I'm gonna try this again. Like I would have had that in the bag if I if I were on um the last what have you. Alright. And it might help me to start buffing us for this stuff. But we'll see how we do now. for some reason. I don't know why I thought that was the ice bomb. That was dumb.
finna use the hill cloud bad. So let's do it after this. Far stagger up. Not killing cloud, like it's not weird. That, that hurts. That hurts. Won't last long. He's gonna have to heal himself. Materia. <laughs> Good stuff. Which technically means if I die again, like that if I'm fighting a, a boss. That was a victory over Phoenix. The flames it conjured were so captivating. I could hardly look away. So walk home! Hells yeah. Hells yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Man, that was satisfactory for real. Hang on, I'll be right back.
Yeah, I beat Phoenix. Yep. Just uh just did it. Let's see. I don't think I've gotten anyone else's author, so it'd be pretty much Well, technically Alexander got two of those and I beat Phoenix with that, so let's see what Alexander is uh what he's all about real quick. And I'll get back to exploring. <clears throat> It's like doing an FF14, uh, the read. That's funny. Don't overdo it. charge everything. Wait, can I attack his core without messing with the arms? Let me see. No, no, okay, you have to destroy the arms. That's the mechanic. You can't touch him until you, uh... The arms have to be broken. You're out of luck. Which sucks. But, you know... Yeah. <laughs> 
Piece of shit. You can't survive this. Okay. Like even if I do a full cure, I think it's uh Let's go. And to think I had his HP this low. Like I almost had him. You know? Oh, okay, it's not insta kill. Okay, I thought it was. I was for sure. It was like instant murder. All right, Clouds, you gotta heal us. Here, heal. Well, heal yourself first, and heal Barrett. And Barrett, you can actually heal yourself. You got some cure. Yeah. Can still divine judgment with no arms? Yo, Clutch City. Clutch City. <laughs> hey, did you see me in action? Ah, uh, I was like, man, I. Ah, thank you, thank you, Blue Fox, for those gift subs. Because, man, oh, uh, we were literally about to die. Me and Barrett, like, we were on the last. Uh, the first time flex. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, I love those clutch wins. Those hit so different. You know, those hit in a special way. Now we can explore some more. <laughs> Cause I've I've failed. Congratulations on defeating Alexander. Two you rejected summons. his judgment and rendered your own. Well done. And now his divine protection is yours to call upon on your adventures. A great comfort, I'm sure. For sure. If there's anything oh, else man. I can do for you, please let me know. I'm always happy to help. Oh man. Oh. Second squad call! We need some booty calls, some somethings, man. Oh, y'all don't have the points for that. That's a lot of points. Scratch that. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I 
probably do need to balance it out. I just realized the, the squall call is hella cheap compared to like every other call that I have. I might have to raise the the, the price on the squall call just to like make it balanced. You know what I mean? Just think about it. Squall call is fifteen hundred. Everything else is like what twenty five k and up. So it's like you know, it's wild. But no, thank you guys. Uh, let's do an official save. Uh, uh, yeah, see, this is where I was, I think. Wait, Northwood. Wait, is that the save file I was using? No, it's this one, it's this one. Yeah, because I had to go back, and I'm a higher level, so yeah. Yeah, that's right. All right, well, we can't go further per se so let's explore like uh let's do some jobs for people that's what we're missing um let me find the job board which is gonna be in for real reason is costa del sol i think yeah i think let me double check i might be wrong no corral region is uh yeah yeah scratch that um we gotta go to Let me check this map. Hmm. Damn. Uh, Gaga, Cosmo Kingdom region. I think I'm tripping because. Right, Costa del Sol would be up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Community notice board. There we go. All right, let's hit the town. Oh yeah, I remember Dolphin Girl. I was talking about uh, something else. This. Now I'll take that. Hang loose. All right, let's hit that community board. I don't know. See what the townspeople want. All right, the saga of the seaside in the county seaside inn is currently undergoing a complete renovation. Better get it to you, our beloved customers. Oh, got it. I'll do it. I'll take it. Hang <laughs> loose. All right. This one's a personal favorite of mine. Right, he's in the back. He's in the cut in the uh, the, the seaside shack. Yeah, I remember where that is. It's like way in the cut. Welcome to Run Wild, a paradise for animals big and small. Did you have to creep through the uh, the alleyway, right? That's no, over here. Yeah, the crates. <laughs> Got this man deep in the cut. And you think you just remove the boxes so people know to come back here, right? Like, why would I don't know? Where am I? What a charming inn! Wonder how long it's been here. A relic from Costa del Sol's time is a fishing village, perhaps. Rotting beams. Nature seems poised to reclaim it. What the? What? Hold up. Is he hiding behind the shower? Bro, what are you doing? Unless. Okay, hang on. <laughs> One second. What's up, uh, Kurt Nickel Cake? What's good? What did you expect? Wait, is he in the cut? Cut? There must be a seat. Oh, right. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. He's right here. He's right here. Hey, perfect timing, bro. I was actually hoping to ask you for a little favor. As you know, your boy's debt free. Figured I'd make the most of my financial solvency and give the inn a total makeover. Thing is, he's short on hands. 
Ah, uh, if only, my dear bro. Kind of the opposite problem, actually. Waka. Oh, Johnny, a name thou hast claimed is thine. But if thou truly Johnny B, then who, pray tell, am I? So, yeah, it's your classic existential crisis. You get the idea. Uh... <laughs> Beds have all been made. What's next? Huh? What the? Oh, hey, bro. I, I, I told you to stay out of sight. You're just going to confuse them. So there's twins. Aren't you supposed to be out shopping anyway? Go on, shoot. Oh, how come he gets to talk to my bro and I don't? So unfair. Uh, see what I have to deal with? Uh. It's true. Poor Yanni and I were separated at birth when he was ripped from our mother's arms. The creatures that stole him brought him up in the wild as one of their own, and... No, oh, he's not my twin. This wouldn't have anything to do with me using my ninja skills to create a bunch of clones, would it? Turns out a few of them managed to stick around somehow. And I think they might have even multiplied. What? <laughs> I mean, I never doubted my amazing abilities, but even I didn't realize I was capable Wait, of when doing she... that. But hey, look on the bright side. Right, when we were fighting Hojo on the beach, and she did, damn, that's so cool, they full circled it. Like, we were fighting, and she did the trick on Hojo, but this is the after, damn, that's cool. At least you aren't short-staffed. Oh, but I am. I sent a crew to fetch materials and haven't heard a word from them since. Turns out I can't rely on myself, my other self. <laughs> I'm begging you, bro. You gotta help me out here. A Johnny's a wild beast that can't be tamed. You know that. There's no telling what sort of havoc these bad boys might wreak. Maybe we should lend him a hand? <sighs> Fine. Yes! I knew I could count on you, bro. I sent them off to the coast of Falls to look for materials for the renovations. I want to start there. That's hilarious. <laughs> Shadow, clone jutsu. Shadow clone jutsu. So this is literally what happens when you use a Naruto skill and then you have to clean up the mess of said skill. Okay. That's really cool. All right. Where is that? In oh, it's way over here. Okay. We need to teleport to... How can I cheat this? How can I... Because I'm like way the hell out here. Let me... I fast travel to no you can't once you're in town you have to physically go there okay i get it that would make it a little too easy if you could persona you know in persona you can just like teleport everywhere you want i get it i get it whoops indeed all right i totally forgot she did that uh that skill on him okay so we need to go such a gorgeous luster. From the newest styles to vintage pieces. We've got it all. Uh, 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 uh. Got a furry friend who needs but no, nah, man. Uh, shout out to my oh, squad oh. FC. Um, that episode is... It's not that it has a lot of views on YouTube or anything, but it's... It's definitely making a splash like on Twitter, like the clip I posted. Um, like, that's pretty cool. All right. Uh... I gotta go this way. Yeah, okay, I got it. Oh, the buggy. Look at that buggy. My. Oh, it's music. On the right way, yeah, we are. All right, he's like off the beaten path. Damn. Oh, 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 shit. oh, oh, no, no, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just trying to. Ah, oh, uh, abandoned car. We gotta get out. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta leave, guys. We gotta go. We're done here. Yep, just leave it. Just leave it. <laughs> We're done. We're done. 
Oh, that's wild. Uh, Johnny sent me to check on you guys, help you find materials. Oh, that was pretty smart of me. No, no one knows, knows me better than myself. And uh, this whole synchronized talking thing is kind of crazy. <laughs> we had actually already gathered everything we needed, but then we ran into some fiends and had to zip line for our lives. So unless they took our stuff for some weird reason, everything should still be right where we dropped it. You think? You'll help us get it all back, <laughs> won't you, bro? The more pieces you pick up, the better off me and me will be. <laughs> me and me. Uh, what's up, Witchy Kia? That is hilarious. Like what's up, Bunny us? Celeste? Even what's better? good? For a hundred Johnnies in a fight, and we'd still get our asses kicked. We'd I know, be right? So scared, we'd run before the fight began. So this is a creative ass quest, man. I'm not gonna lie. Like they really put thought into how to personalize every side quest. I've said this before. I'm gonna. You know, dare I say it, I'm gonna dick ride this game until I die. Pause, no pause, rewind, press play, I don't care. Hmm. Alright, so how far did they drop the What did I tell ya? More Yuffies, more fun! This looks like a job for the Yuffie squad. How about we take a look over there? Nah. I think we'd have better luck over there. If it's not material, I'm not interested. <laughs> hey, Cloud! Uh, Cloud? Are you even listening to us? See? Like, like I, I said, said, fun! No, not fun. Boo! What is she... How is she... So, did she just use the skill on herself, but she didn't separate? That was weird. <laughs> That's cool though. Ninjutsu is is a hell of a drug. All right, is this all right? That's where they are. That's where the Johnnies are situated. They dropped their stuff. Where exactly? Maybe I have to go back and talk to them. I, I feel like I didn't trigger something. I feel like I didn't trigger a thing. If she was in your party, you would see multiple Yuffies. Damn, that sucks. A missed opportunity. So, you find, you find anything, anything wrong? They ought to be all around the zip lines, right where we dropped them. All right, the zip lines. Okay. Come on, don't leave us hanging. We need your help. I know, bro. I'm trying, bro. Figured I would take a swim first, bro. All right, we got it. So the zip lines were right there. Okay. I guess I was expecting the game to tell me like the point of interest. Like, you know, usually it'll mark like a an AOE, a range of uh, you know, where you should be looking, but that's fine. I mean the zip line is here, so I should see the items. It's everywhere. Uh <laughs> All right, we're at the zip line, so let's see. That's just random. Oh, bingo. All right, one of eight. All right. I get it, you follow the path they went, so they probably got on the zip line. And then they decided, hey, let's go find another zip line, bro. I gotta think like a Johnny. I gotta calibrate my brain to Johnnyism. So, if I were a Johnny, if I were a Johnny, I would, uh, I'd find another zip line. Yeah. But first, I get a chocobo. Yep. Damn it! Chocobo! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> All right, let's find another zip line. Become the Johnny. One with the Johnny. I know uh, Mokuchoi. I, I hope I said that right. I might not have, which is, that's okay. Love this vacation music, man. Oh. <sighs> 
I don't know what I would do if I lived in a world without music. Oh, wow. My sensors indicate the presence of a unique life form. Oh, we got to use magic on these. The I need Thundara, damn it. Keep it together. Stagger it. Yeah, I, I, I kind of want to run that back. That was very impressive work, Cloud. Using the data from your battle. Which I super. I think you'll find it to be a. Mm-hmm. Oh, I said it right. Cool, cool, cool. Uh. So who has? Oh, Cloud needs Thunder back. He needs that. I feel like that would have turned the tide a little bit, maybe. I feel like these mollusks, they're, uh, they're weak to... I could have sworn they were weak to lightning. Ooh, I got Thundaga! I got that Ga! That Ga magic we talked about earlier. Let's hit him with that Ga... Hit him with that Ga magic. Hit him with that Ga! Ga! I just gotta get him staggered first. Damn, I can't use spells. Shit. Barrett, use some thunder, man. This one right here. They're too hard to stagger. Eh, fuck it. Let's stick to what we were doing. I, y y damn it, bird! We gotta find these zip lines. I feel like I've gone too far away from them. Man. No, I didn't assess it. It's fine. I'll just. That was one zip line. We can't get too far away from. Well, I can't remember. I'm trying to remember how many zip lines are out here. Like, is that one way up there? I don't think so. I don't even know. Oh, what's up? Little baby chick. I got it. Up here, okay. Go. All 
Alright, let's go back to the, uh... Here you are. Ah, bingo. Got it. This explains the scene of Yona Chocobo before Chrono stops it. Yeah, pretty much. This is, uh, this is definitely, I'm not the best Chocobo writer out there. Never said I was. You know, never, never made that clear. Ah, bingo. I will say the more I do this, the more it makes me want to do the, uh, the FF9 equivalent of this. A play arts willy. Oh, nice. All right. Yeah, we, we've gotten too far away from the zip tie, so I'm gonna go take this first one back and then maybe he'll be like, oh yeah, uh, we left the other one over by a go-kart or something. Right, I get it. Not every item is by the uh, the zip tie. I think you have to keep going back and forth to the Johnny's. That's just my theory. I'm, I'm theorizing right now. But I'm also a dumbass because here's another zip tie. And he said, that means the item is up there, isn't it? Hang on. Let's run it. Let's see if we find a bundle of uh, activity up here. Uh, yeah, I'm a dumbass. Yeah, that just means there's a lot of, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of zip ties out here we gotta find. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Yeah, I love the music in this game, too. All the remixes, bangers. Love it. It's just a fun game. Like, it... Again, if it doesn't get Game of the Year to some capacity, I'm going to be very confused. Oh, we already did that one, yeah. Right? Yeah, we did that one a long time ago. Just imagine the voice actor for Baird in the booth humming the uh the victory thing. That's so cool, man. Like even cooler if the guy who plays Barry, like if he grew up playing Final Fantasy and then full circle, he's in a booth doing that noise, the fanfare. That's the flex of flexes, man. That's final flexity. I don't, I don't even know how else to put it. That's just final flexity right there. You know? The VAs have fun. Hell yeah. What's up, uh, next set? What's good, man? Um, so we got to find six more zip ties in this. Uh, let me see. Does the map show us the zip ties or do I just have to let my heart be my guiding key? I think. Yeah, we just got to. And you got to memorize which zip ties you've 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 done versus the ones you haven't. OK. Oh, an area of interest? Okay, bet. But yeah, whoever gave Square Enix the memo of like, look, we can't let this world map just be open space with nothing to do. That will kill us. <laughs> like, that will destroy us. You know what I mean? So shout out to the developers, the director, the director is plural, whoever, who had the foresight and knew this world map has to be everything. Like it, it, it has to be not just a huge world, but again, like a, a lived in world, an explorable world, an aesthetic world. 
Cause like everywhere I go, it's like new scenery. Look at this, man. Just like running through waterfalls and shit. Like, you know. Um, and you know what's crazy? The more I think about it, and obviously, like they can only break the world so much in 14 with the overhaul. But like, I didn't watch the video of the the graphic comparison of the locations, but um. That would be wild if like the environment looked like this in 14 one day, which you never know. Years and years from now. Well, no, by then they'll probably have like a whole other. Cause think about it, if FF11 came out in 2000, I can't remember. Can't think that far back, but. Yeah, man, take some of these items off me, man. So, you find anything, bro? I did, I did. Uh. Pulling our legs here, bro. Come on, don't leave us hanging. We need your help. No, I grabbed, I got stuff off the damn. What? Having our bro help outs like having a hundred of us. Even better. I just oh, grabbed two things. What? We'd still get our asses kicked. Yeah, uh, next set. They've been talking to Unison as well. I. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Maybe all the zip ties are in this general vicinity. Like they're all. Uh, tightly knit together. They have plans for 14 the next year. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they, they've got a gold mine with 14 anyway. Like, it can constantly just be building on itself. You know? Like, the, the level it's at. And keep in mind, I came in way after everyone else, but just based on what I've seen, uh, 14 can hold its own from now until literally <laughs> the end of the world, so. You know, a real life umbral calamity like 14 can just keep rocking until then. Yeah, okay. So the game isn't that evil. They were just like, hey, get to the zip lines, but they're all in this in general kind of playground area, so. Either they remake 11 or make a new MMO that has nothing to do with FF. You know what would be wild? And this might be a sign I need to try to do it. Like, imagine an MMO, but it's like, think semi Super Nintendo graphics, but like, nah, that'd be kind of, it, it'd have to be fluid enough to be like enjoyable. So let me, let me hold that thought. It wasn't a fully formed idea. <laughs> yeah, I shit the bed on that. My bad. <laughs> I was gonna like, I thought I was about to cook, and then I realized that I didn't have any gas in the oven, so it was a. Tch, tch, tch. <laughs> you know? At least it marks uh, the ones you did. Does it? Hang on. Oh, right. Right. Okay, okay, okay. I just noticed that. Thank you, uh, Moku. Because. Right. Okay. So yeah. And there might be an aesthetic I can zoom in on. Like I see that's zip line activity. Uh another zip line might be You know what? I'm just gonna use my eyes. Like 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 legendary gamers are supposed to do. Just use your eyeballs and go for it, you know? And I know some of you think, man, he calls himself legendary all the time. I ain't seen nothing. Let me tell you a story. This was a long time ago. Uh, we were playing Breath of the Wild, my first time streaming it. And I went to this one part. It was called the Island of something. It was Shipwreck Isle or something island. I don't remember what it was. I don't remember what it's called, but you go there and you have nothing. You have nothing. You don't have a dollar, a slice, a piece of your name. You're just butt-ass naked link. 
you're just out there, right? Uh, so the goal is you go there, you pick up weapons, you survive, basically. Um, Eventide, yeah. So anyway, I first time flexed Eventide. Okay, technically, okay, technically, I got, I, I killed myself with my own bomb. Or something happened, I threw it and it rolled down the hill and blew me up. But no enemy on Eventide was able to murder me. You can check the stream records on that. Like, I survived Eventide. <laughs> This was way before Elden Ring too. That's the crazy part. The crazy part is that me flexing Eventide was like the precursor to me eventually coming back and dominating Elden Ring, Cro crooked crown and everything. Like I, I should have known then. I should have known when I did Eventide the way I did it that I was destined for Elden greatness. You know what I'm saying? Like I should have known. <laughs> the strongest enemy was yourself, literally. Like, I'm just saying, I was I was that dude that night. Uh, minus the bomb incident. I was that dude the night of the Eventide uh, stream. You know? Like, I might have to dig in my archive and literally make a clip of me first time flexing Eventide. Uh, again, skipping over the bomb part. You know, I can't have that on my permanent record, but, <laughs> you know. All right, we're going to find some more of these. Honestly, thought Elden Ring was gonna be your epic gamer reference. Well, well, here's the thing, Jamie. Everyone already knows that. Like, I can, yeah, I can go to that, but I wanted to tell you a different story. I want to tell you a different story because it's one thing to remember. It's one thing to remind people I've beaten ER, but it's another to remind them of isolated legendary incidents such as Eventide Island. Uh, okay, where's? We've done this one. Let's get back on triple back. I don't want to fight any floating fish right now. I'm kind of kind of busy. Yeah, kind of on a mission. I don't have time to fight mollusks in the street. Not that kind of party. All right, so. Yeah, that's the first one we did. That's the first one we did, right? Let me see, let me see. <gasps> no, no, yeah, it is, because that's, yeah, there it is right there. That's the zip, okay. Yeah. Glad I found the stream before the DLC. Oh, the Elder Ring DLC? Yeah. And I mean, everyone makes jokes like, oh, Cloudy, you didn't beat Millennia. Oh, Cloudy, what about the Elder Ring DLC? Listen, man, first off, Shut all your butt cheeks. Super glue them shut if you have to, <laughs> because you can't discredit me by trying to bring up DLC. That's not gonna happen. That that will not stand. That disrespect, it's not gonna fly. So, uh, <laughs> you know, there's that. There's that. Yo, is that another zip tie that I haven't done? It is, it is, it is, it is. I see it. Across the uh, across the way, and there's one right here. But I've already done this one, so we can ignore that. Okay. Oh, area of interest. All right. Okay. Cool. Cool. Never in doubt. Is yes, there? All right, so we got to go to the top. I think that's where the other package is up there. So, oh, I got you, Kai. Yeah, I hate when that kind of stuff happens. This is so fun and relaxing to watch. You know, Bunny Celeste, it's weird. Sometimes I uh, second guess the concept of just like doing monotonous things like this on a stream. But I have to remember. Again, it's FF7 Rebirth. You know, it visually, aesthetically, well, it's the same thing. Uh, visually, uh, gameplay-wise, like it's it's an adventure all in itself. Every animation, every location, like all of it is an experience. 
So yeah, like if this was something like, again, we talked about Persona earlier. If I were playing P3 and I was spending like two hours just like going to school and and, and going home, <laughs> I feel like over time maybe like, eh, depending on what I'm talking about. Like if I were just like mouthing off like I am now, or not mouthing off, but rambling, uh, it would pass the time for sure. Cause then it'd just be like, oh, well, P3 is in the background of whatever cloud he's seeing. The terminal must be at the base. I think I climbed this for no reason. This tower had me look like a jackass, man. Hang on. Did I not activate this one? Where's the terminal? What? The... Hold up, bro. Hold on. It must be at the very top, like way up, all the way up. Right, I feel you, Kai. There is definitely a level of relatability if you played this game and beaten it already. Because you're like, oh man, I wonder if he's gonna hurry up and do this thing, or if he's gonna know to do this thing at that part. And plus the nostalgia of it, man. Like it's it's shared nostalgia. There, I, I see it. I see it. I see it. I had to like switch the camera around. There it is. Yeah, I'm definitely enjoying the journey, for sure. I'm in there. I'm in there, dog. Ah. That's actually one thing I'm having to remember when doing this streaming stuff, is um, a lot of times, and I, I mean, I'm sure other streamers go through this too, like, your brain tells you that you have to be entertaining 24 seven. Like you have to be on the whole time. But in reality, the game is on. I'm just the driver. Like this is what's on. I could shut the hell up if I wanted to the whole time and just, you know, I just happen to like talking, you know, I'm one of those people, but taking that into account, it, it, it definitely makes this experience a lot more chill once I can get over myself and realize that just play the game, man. People want to watch you play and just enjoy the visual of the gameplay. They aren't really... Commentary is great. Like, we're talking to each other now, but, you know. Hey, king shit indeed. What did you expect? Oh yeah like you did with the ghost camera game. Wait, what did I do with ghost camera? Fatal frame? Was I not talking during Fatal Frame or I can't remember. It was a creepy game, but it also had, you know, baddies and water. So it's like that game scarouse me. I'm not gonna lie. That was that was scarousal. Uh let's go way over here. Um you did the blue screen. Oh right, yeah. That was like a spooktober perk. I was like, let me get really invested in the game. And I kept getting like, I can't remember if I died in the game or something was happening. The theme, the theme of Fatal Frame 4, it was all like drowning in boxes. I think the, the story was like, they took a bunch of women up to a mountain and was like, hey, we gotta sacrifice you. So, hang on, I'll tell you a second. Come on. Um, I think the premise was like the ladies would get taken up to the mountain, they drown them in a box, but then their ghost came back, and it was a lot going on. But anyway, at one point of the stream, I decided, uh, I'm gonna be one of the ghost chicks. So I had like bubbles and shit around me. It was wild. It was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. Um, wasn't I following a chocobo? There you are. I got you. And then we gotta go back to the, the zip tie. Zip line, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Did you play Fatal Frame Curse for Lunar Mask? I don't know. Was that the name of the fourth one? 
Like, I'm trying to... What the? Oh, you have to be a chocobo to lift this up. He's not strong enough to... Oh, you hold it. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. <laughs> I'm tripping. Oh, look at that chocobo. But I'm trying to think of the creepiest game I've, I've streamed so far for Spooktober that really had me just hella uncomfortable. Um, at first, Dead Space... Okay, here's the thing. Dead Space, once I realized I can not only murder uh, weird flesh necromorph zombies, I can stop them. It was like I lost the fear factor. I'm like, this is just action now. Um, but the the atmosphere is re really creepy. Like it is very like, you know. But compared to Evil Within was creepy at points, but then that that got more actiony. Um, I think the only game that's made me just generally terrified would have been House Beneviento and Resident Evil Eight, and uh. Oh, no, the other game, uh, Outlast. That was a stressful game. Because you can't fight. You, all you have to do is run and get murdered. And that was annoying. But it was very creepy. It was very, like, and it's first-person view, so I'm like, man. Sometimes when you play a game where you can see your character, you can just focus on the character doing things, but not in this case. All right, so we were trying to get to the one zip line. The, the baby chocobo took me off track. Uh, let me see. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, the baby chocobos are adorable. Yeah, someone's recommended Alien Isolation, but the problem is the AI in that game is too strong, I've heard. Like, apparently in Alien Isolation, based on what I've been told, um, the alien can hear if you, like if you're on a microphone like this, if I were like talking my ass off right now, the alien would have come in and like eviscerated me. Um, and this is what I've been told. I mean, I don't know for sure, but <laughs> sorry, my ear is itching. Um, and apparently it learns your behavioral patterns. So if you're prone to run into a room and hide under a bed, apparently the alien picks up on that and it'll like psych you out or it'll make you think it's left and if you come out it'll just like snatch you just a lot just a lot of stuff there we go there's another package sweet um the alien can smell you Shit. <laughs> all right have i done this one no we got to get to that one over there i think there's a package over there you know what would be cool and I'm pretty sure they do this in other uh, Final Fantasy games. If we could jump off of this and our chocobo just flutters Yoshi style across the uh, the crevice here, that would be great. That would be that would be a bit of all right. But uh, you can't win them all. Just like that Rolling Stone song. It's like uh, you can't always get what you want. You know what I'm talking about? Uh... Wait a minute. No, that's the one we started with. We already got... What? No? I think this is a different one. Hold on. According to the map... Let me make sure I'm not tripping. According to the map, across the way... Yeah, that must be the same one. I'm guessing. But let's check in case, just to be on the safe side. I feel like I've already gotten this one. Yeah, I recognize this. Yeah, we already got this. Or did we? Unless there were two of them. Hang on. Hang on. Oh! Ah, that's slick. I did come up this way, but I didn't go this way last time. I didn't go this way. All right. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Oh. Hold on, man. For real, every time I play mainly Final Fantasy, but it just, like, brings out that desire to make a game even more. Like, I'm gonna have to, like, realign my focus in the coming, like, 
I won't say years, but like the coming months to really figure out if I want to do a thing, I got to put the energy towards it. That's probably why, real talk, after I finish Squall House Season 1, I'm going to take a break from like, you know, the 14 stuff and then like shift that focus into like, okay, let me actually try to make a game or look into it, you know? Because I think what happens is I have too many irons on the fire, but you know, like it, it's, how can I phrase this? Like there's so many irons on the fire, but the fire can only get them so high. I don't know how to explain it. Like I need to take some of them out and just focus in on a couple of things, you know? Yeah, exactly. Like I'm, you know, and, and also it's like, if you grew up like I did, and I always bring this up just to see if, I'm, I'm like fishing to see if anyone knows what I'm talking about. Growing up on RPG Maker, that was my life. Like most kids my age at that time, you know, like middle school, junior high, would have been like doing cool shit, like going to parties, getting with girls and, you know, trying a beer or something. But me, it was like every day after school, like all I cared about was coming home to uh, tinker with RPG Maker. Like I literally flunked algebra in the eighth grade, not because I'm an idiot, but like I didn't really put the effort towards it because I was like, well, you know, uh, I kind of want to just get home and do what I'm good at. You know, I'd open Photoshop, make my little character sprites. I would code my game, the proudest shit I ever made at the time. You know, like that was my passion. And I think at the time, of course, like, you know, me failing algebra, my parents are pissed. But like, when I look back on it as a full grown adult with a mortgage, it's like, that was just me leaning into what I want to do in life, or at least something adjacent to it in the gaming industry. You know, and I feel like all kids should lean into their passion because that's what's going to make them an upstanding citizen. The more aligned they are to the passion they have, the better of a person they'll be, you know, less miserable they'll be, less prone they'll be to like do some heinous shit. Because it's like, you know what, I'm living my life purpose. I'm doing what I enjoy. Am I a filthy rich? No, but it's like, this is what makes me happy, you know? like sitting in a room and just like editing a, a a game or something, or in my case, videos, you know, it's like, I'm just kind of going off on a tangent because I'm looking for these uh, packages, but you get it. I oh, already did that. Okay. Ah, Moku, yeah, you get it. Moku gets it. <laughs> you with Tekken, flexing giant, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I'd rather be comfortable and happy than rich and miserable. And don't get me wrong, like, I think the people out there who have figured it out, that have really figured out how to take their passion and synthesize it into a, a relatively wealthy lifestyle, that's the win. You know, that's the... Like, I'm sure Yoshi P goes to bed at night like, I did it. Like, I'm a gamer. I love games. You know, I'm in charge of one of the biggest MMOs in the world, if not the biggest. You know, well, I don't know. I don't know if World of Warcraft is like on the same level or not. I'm not gonna debate that because I don't want to start any arguments, but like, regardless, like I'm sure Yoshi P feels that energy. He's like, I can be myself, I can goof around. I have an entire world of players who are like honed in on this thing I'm, I'm, I'm creating, you know? Like this experience I'm giving him. No, this is cool, man. It's cool stuff. And that kind of like stuff keeps me driven to like leave my mark too, you know? All right, let's see. Cause that's what people don't realize or they realize that I just don't talk about it. Like our Squall Health show that I keep plugging all the time. I don't get paid anything for that. Like if anything, I lose funds cause I'm paying like voice actors and like modders and stuff. But it's a passion project. like. I'm telling a story, and to me, it's like RPG Maker, but on an adult level. That's literally what it is. Like, the story I just told you about what I used to do when I was young, after school, blocking algebra, <laughs> this is only the adult form of that made manifest, except now I'm more responsible and, like, you know, I maintain a life. But it's the same energy through and through. 
Because I used to ask myself, like, wait, why am I staying up to like 2, 3 a.m. editing this show that no one asked me for? No one requested it ever. <laughs> like, it's that passion, man. You know, and I'm not even doing it with this expectation of like, oh, one day Yoshi P or some big name, whoever is gonna see the Squall House and think, oh man, that's dope. Like, that'd be cool as shit. But that's not what drives me to do it, you know? Like, I genuinely like, oh, Mushroom House, let's go visit that. Um, I genuinely like the reactions I get when people are like, yo, he did all this in a, in a game. He told a story in a game. Like, he used this engine to literally craft a story that people care about and feel something about. That's cool stuff. You know? Oh, no, I'm not going in there. They're going to make me play a dumbass game. I'm, I'm going to stick to the zip, the zip line. Nah, the mod house is canceled. Yeah, the mod house is canceled. We aren't going in there. <laughs> we are... Oh, hell yeah, Kai. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Vote of confidence. Um, yeah, we're going to leave that. We're, we're going to stick to the, the goal at hand. But yeah. I seem to get the most introspective when I'm doing tedious stuff like this. Hit me! Hit me, bitch! I dare you to run into me! I dare you to run bitch! Hit this work, bitch! What the? Take the lead. No time to celebrate. Anyway. All right, let's find some more zip lines. I think we've gotten too far away from the zip lines. Um, I love how you were just doing this from the heart to make the spoils and put so much thought into each episode. I really do, man. Like, I don't know. Like, I love telling stories. Like, that's just through and through. And I mean, I'm sure everyone else can relate. Like, it's like any avenue you can find to do it. I'm sure you do it. So it's like, and I've told the story before, like, I, um, okay, we gotta stay in this general vicinity, I think. Honestly, it's hard to tell, no. Like, they're spread out all over the place, so. But, um, no, nah, man. I'm one of those people, like, and I think anyone who games, they can relate to this too. You know, like, say you're fighting a boss, right? Or you're trying to thing and you keep failing at it. And it just drives you to want to do it more. That's what happened to me with, like, animated series and stuff like i i easily dumped thousands of dollars into trying to make an animated show or a couple back then but people kept like um giving me the runaround you know you pay a deposit on a thing and they never get back to you so you're like hey can i get a refund and they just they disappear you know shit like that and it was stories i had taken time to write and was like really proud of but i couldn't get them off the ground because like, yeah, I could have taken the time to learn animation and stuff. So, I mean, technically, I can't say, like, oh, I could have never done it. But, you know, time is uh, time is precious, man. Like, a lot of other stuff people have to do and whatnot. But anyway, I think because I found a vehicle like 14 that makes it a lot easier to tell stories, that's what's, like, it's scratching that itch, you know? And I'm a broker record. Everyone knows I've said this before, but... It scratches that creative itch. And due to the fact that, you know, like I said, I lost all that money and time and like trust in people. Now I'm able to redeem, I'm gonna say myself, I'm not even gonna bring them in the equation, but I'm able to redeem my creative endeavors, you know, through this particular, you know. I think when you watch like what we're doing and you're like, damn, you really put a lot into this. That's all of that energy coming out, you know? Like, it's just coming to the surface, boiling out even. But yeah. Yeah, I do have hell experience. So now it's like, once I've built my name up enough, I'm sure I could go to someone with the right amount of funds. Like, yeah, now I want to do an actual animated thing. But at this stage, I don't even care. Like, I have my vehicle. I have my, my means to do it. So I'm doing it. And even people who don't even care about FF14, like, my hope is that I tell such a good story that you just like it for the characters. You don't even care about the game. You're just like, oh, okay, I know they're in a game. 
I'm cognizant to the fact that it's a game, but I'm not so anchored to that thought that it, it takes me out of the immersion of a story that's being told, you know? Kind of like, I think Red versus Blue from back in the day, like, and I didn't watch all of it. I just remember bits of it. It was really funny. But like, I'm sure people who didn't even play Halo were like, this is just funny. It's a good show. Like, they did good with it. You know, same energy. <clears throat> uh-huh. Nostalgia. <laughs> Yo, what up, Dot Socks? Yes, sir. Yeah. You know, I gotta have the cloud wig for Final Fantasy. Whose helicopter is this that keeps circling? It doesn't look like a Shinra helicopter. It looks like... No, that's... Uh... I get it. The game will tell you. Okay, so fun fact. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, once it realizes, like... Once the game thinks you're a dumbass, it'll keep having a helicopter in certain quests that flies in the direction you're supposed to be going. So that's the game's way of saying, hey, follow this helicopter. That's that's where you gotta go. It just hit me. It, it just hit me. Because we're technically supposed to be um, off doing things. Uh... Yeah, exactly, next set. Like, I'm definitely hitting those, uh, those, like, nostalgic machinima vibes. You know? And respects to Money Ohm, like, again, I didn't know a ton about, like, Rooster Teeth. Like, I know, like, what they've done. I just never took time to look into all of it. I, I was just familiar with, like, some names, some of their IP, like, Ruby and, you know, Red vs. Blue, Achievement Hunter, things like that. Um... But I remember vividly seeing these videos from Money Ohm about it was final dead fantasy. And those I feel like on a subconscious level, even conscious, those inspire like everything I'm doing now. Like when I try to make the fight scenes look cool, like I'm like, I remember seeing those, and I'm like, my brain had never fathomed the idea of seeing like Yuna fighting like Riku and them in that style or whatever they were doing. Like it was just cool. I was like, I didn't know this was possible. So that opened my mind to the reality of like, oh, in the world of 3D animation, if you can dream it, you can you can make it. Because even now, when I get time, I want to learn uh, Blender, you know, like the 3D software. Like, I'll tell you this, and I mean, we already talked about this. Me and some of the, um, me and my little private writers room for Spa House for season one. I'm not gonna stress over. It. I'm just gonna stay the course so we can get the story told but in the future i would like to learn blender just so i can i can do uh custom what have you you know what i mean because right now i'm kind of at the mercy of other people which has been cool like i said you know like the people who help me with that stuff they're super cool super uh, patient um they trust my vision the ideas i give them they're like yeah i can do that any tweaks I make of like, well, maybe we can. They're like, yeah, I got you. Uh, <laughs> so, you know. But yeah, Dead Fantasy was just like, I vividly remember that. So I can honestly give credit where it's due, you know, RIP money. Um, whenever I try to make fight scenes for Skullhouse, I'm thinking of what he would have done. Obviously, mine aren't like on that level, but like, I use that as a. Uh, um, benchmark of what I want to achieve if I keep practicing and keep learning, keep leveling up. All right, where's this last or the last few of these? Let me see. I think I started going in a circle because I was talking to you guys about introspective shit and then it kind of just put me in a because fun fact, and I'm just letting you guys get to know me more as I'm doing this. When I'm on the phone, um, if I'm talking to somebody about something really deep, and I've done this since I was a kid, if there's a table in a room, I walk around that table just like nonstop. Like I do laps around it. Almost like it represents like the cogs in my brain just like going and going. Like I have to be moving. Like I can't just sit there and be like, yeah, so this is what we'll do with this thing. I mean, unless I'm here, like if I'm in Discord or something, I can't run around, but you know, it's, it's, it's all good. All right, uh, let me find this damn thing, man. Uh, can't give him any of that, so. 
I'm gonna find it though. I'm gonna let me let me get my game face back on. Let me hone in on this. Um, let's go up here. All right, I think this one has not been. Okay, cool. We found a new one. We found a new one. Just gotta get up here. Okay, bet. Can I climb that? Oh no, we gotta go way up. That's like over there. Unless I'm tripping. Yeah, no, I see it. It's way over there. Hang on, what the? I think. Yeah, okay, okay. We gotta climb this one. We gotta climb this one. Alright, this is a new one. I don't think I've done this one. Pretty sure. Alright, let's see. I tend to pace when I have a heavy thought grinding. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, want a high cold? No, I feel like I'm close. I feel like I'm close. If I get super desperate, I'll definitely say we can hot cold it. But see, like, I'm getting closer as I, uh, you know, because now we only need what two more? Okay, okay. And from this vantage point, maybe if I'm strategic, I can look. Because at first, at first glance, I thought it was like, oh, every zip line will take you to the next zip line. I was mistaken. There is proverbial egg upon my face. I'm gonna try it though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna zip line this one and see if I can see uh if I can see anything. Nah. That was a bust. That was a bust. <sighs> yeah. yeah I, <laughs> I just stopped and realized like I calculated everything I was just doing, like all the talking I was doing. Yeah, I gotta make a podcast. I gotta do it. And not some cheesy bullshit. Like, I mean, just, I don't know. I have a lot of thoughts. So I need to just like talk and whatever. Cause technically if I wanted to, I could have snippet. I could make a snippet of the past 30, 40 minutes of me just rambling about my life and shit. And literally be like, oh, here's, <laughs> here's the podcast. I did it on the fly, but nah. Okay, um... Okay. Let me think. If I were a zip line, I feel like there was one near the Corel region, like right outside of the base of Mount Corel. I keep thinking there was one there, but I could be wrong. Oh. All right, something about this path is te it's telling me to go up the path. I feel like there's a zip line up here. I just, I, I feel it in my bones. Like I feel it in my, uh... yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I need you guys to believe in the legendary bone. That's what I'm gonna call myself now, the legendary bone. Like this is, uh... yeah, cause I feel like the other one's on the other side over here. It's a twofer. It's a two for one. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's two for. It's two for one tonight. Yay! For any T Pain fans out there, I'm still mad as hell, man. T Pain was a dragon con, and I missed him by like ten minutes. Literally walked back to our hotel or my cousin's loft, and I see pictures on uh on Facebook or something, and it was like T Pain was there in the air in the exact. Uh, hotel area that I was just in. I was mad as shit, man. I was like, come on, bro. Come on. That's the last of them, right? There we go. <laughs> uh, what up, not a die? What's good? Did I read that right? Not a, no, 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 you. <laughs> All right, let's go back. Let's run it back. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, wait, I can fast travel. The beauty of... Oop. Yeah. Okay. So, you find anything, bro? Yeah, I got it all. Whoa. Honestly, we don't even remember collecting this much stuff. You're incredible. <laughs> you got that right. Our bro's a cut above. I mean, uh, I am ex soldier. I guess we better get this hall back to our palace, kind of, sort of, by the sea. Which means our work here is done, right? Well, since you asked, a couple of the other Johnnies went looking for parts to fix the boiler. Damn. Wait, there's more of you? Yep, and I bet they could really use your help. I think they were headed toward one of those old Republic era factories. Tell them Johnny says hi. It's a thing we do. <laughs> Cloud's like, man, all this, everything I just went through. Just for the, okay. So well, now they want me to go over here. But luckily we have some fast travel points we, we uh, discovered as we were looking for the zip ties. Zip lines. Keep saying zip ties. Um, so, all right, up to the factory, but uh, damn, I bet he would like to buy you a drink redemption. I know, Jade, like, mark my words, man. Like, I'm, I'm gonna meet T-Pain in the right way, you know? Like, like, it's gonna be a genuine, like, you know what, man? Like, you know what, I'm not even gonna say it. I'm just gonna let the universe do what it does. I'm, I'm gonna just go with the flow like I've been doing. And let the chips fall where they may. Because I never want it to be like one of those awkward, like, uh, I don't know how to describe it. Like one of those encounters where someone like tries to force it to happen. And then it's like, I don't know. I can't even put it into words, really. I know what I'm feeling, but I can't articulate it right now, so. Yeah. Huh. Oh, this screams near Automata, man. This feels like uh, City Ruins. Like, if I played the uh, City Ruins music here, it would feel like a one-to-one -one of near Automata. Let's test that theory. Let's do that. Yeah, let's test that theory. Uh, Chadley, don't talk to me right now. Cloud. What? If you're searching for a transmuter chip, you should summon a Chocobo. Right. So let's test this theory, guys. Let's let's test it. Because this is important for science. This feels, this feels right. Oh, this isn't the one with lyrics. I thought it was. It's not, I was wrong. <laughs> Yeah, the lyrics come after this, that's right. And I don't want to sing over the ladies, because they, they're beautiful. I don't want to desecrate their song while they're on it. But no, look at this. <laughs> this is near automata as hell. Oh, no, this is an instrumental. Oh, hell no, we, we're going to sing it then. If you know the words, if you know the song, sing along. Let me get myself a position here.
Uh, that's what happens when you don't warm your voice up. You crack. You croak like a frog. Uh, and then I realized I was singing over the ladies. I kept going, but yeah, I felt bad, so I lost my confidence. <laughs> Let me turn this back on. Let me Shazam this. I only know the joint from 14. Yeah, no, nah, that's uh, City Ruins from Near Automata. It's a beautiful song. You sang with me while Mary, hell yeah. <laughs> hey there, bro. Hey, Johnny said that you needed my help. What? No, no I, I didn't. didn't. Wait, was, was it you? you? Not me. What? So you're, so you're saying, saying it was me? me. No, no way. You're, you're too stubborn, stubborn to ask for help. help. Hey, you talking shit about me? What the hell? <laughs> you two are a riot. Have you thought about starting a two-man show? I bet it'd be a smash hit, right? So? Well, we were looking for a part to help us repair the boiler, but it turns out nobody makes it anymore. Can't you just pluck the leaves off their head and they'll disappear? Why don't we just make it ourselves? So to do that, we're hunting for a transmuter chip. Any luck? Sure wish we had a chocobo right about now. Okay, I'll take it from here. Sweet! We're looking for instructions on how to craft a boiler valve. And if you find one of those chips, feel free to just transmute a valve yourself. Are you trying to give us even more work? You two are the best. Damn. Here, X marks the spot. Wait, didn't you try digging there before? So All Aerith is running up here. We everything much faster if we cloned ourselves, too. No. Just think, you could start a mercenary franchise. Hold on, let me see if she tries it again. I'm, I'm gonna try to put her in the party and see if she does, uh, hang on. Let me see. Guys, and I could even help you set up a branch in Wutai. Plus, Shimmer wouldn't stand a chance against a cloud army. You and your buster sword wielding buddies and hack them to bits. Yeah. Where's right. that chip? Oh, hey, come on. That? Just imagine. Hey, where is she? One cloud. Where the hell is she? Clouds, three clouds. Four clouds. She ain't even here, bro. Uh, I know you aren't much of a talker, but I figured at least one of you would say something. Not really digging this vibe. Where is she? <laughs> what? <laughs> She's talking, but I can't yeah. even fucking find her. Yeah, I think I'm good with just one cloud. The one and only. Man, that's garbage. Nah. That was a waste. Get the fuck out of my party. Alright, uh. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Alright, let's go. So I know they want us to dig for the. Let's get on the chocobo now. Let's do it now. Yeah, let's do that. On the other side. We don't need it. Oh, it's upstairs. Okay. Got it. Oh, what up, uh, the Juju?
Oh, okay, it's so way on the other side of the... Okay, so it's... Oh, it must be over here. Bingo! <clears throat> Oh, nice. Got the boiler valve. Okay, cool. <sighs> Alright. Okay, so technically... found the chip way to go bro once you've got all the necessary materials i do like that you can transmute special items with this like that's pretty cool i'm not gonna lie sweet oh yeah absolutely yeah this is a one-to-one -one of ff9's uh Here, digging works the spot. there you go man Baby, this is it. That boiler is as good as fixed. Hot, steamy showers in every room. <sighs> well, we should probably report back to Johnny now that we've bailed out all the others. Uh, actually... Damn. There's one more. <sighs> Where is he? Said he wanted to give the hotel royal flair by putting the Tonberry King's crown on display. Last we heard, he was desert bound. Hope he's not dying of thirst or knife wounds. You wouldn't mind going to check on him for us, would you, bro? Gotta find a. Not at all. Gotta find a time, Barry. Best. Well, we got a boiler to fix, so we're gonna head back. Our other life is in your hands, bro. So seriously, in Naruto or Ninja Lore, if you pull the leaf off their head, will they vanish, or are they just permanent creatures now? And the leaf just signifies, oh, that's a clone. All right, so the desert, huh? Okay. Let me way out here. Okay. Well, you know what? Let me just go ahead. Oop. Okay, that's what I figured. Yeah. I forgot the choke bolts can run like fast as hell. I totally forgot this was a feature. Is that a mirage? I can't believe you're here, bro. Me neither. Well, I'm glad you are. You see, we're renovating the hotel. And I thought a Tonberry King's crown would give the place that palatial feel. But it's, uh, somewhere over there. Rumor has it, the Tonberry King lives somewhere nearby. But there's no way your boy Johnny can get through the desert on foot. Listen, bro, I don't know if you were planning to check out the dunes, but if you are, you'd really be doing me a solid if you brought me back that crown. Preferably in the most pristine condition possible. Say, I bet one of those towers could point us in the king's direction. Oh, your kindness is bringing me to tears, bro. I eagerly await your safe and fruitful return. Just don't keep me waiting too long. We Johnnies are delicate flowers that wilt in the desert heat. What the hell? Okay. Crazy, man. All right, so one of the towers. Let's just go straight for this tower then. Yes. Going to 
بود Oh wow, okay. What about this? This is literally an opening, like, okay. So it's just there for show. Ah, damn. Man. Oh, we're back in Corel Tom, okay. make sure that's not somewhere else on the map because I, I don't know if they want me to go way out here wasteland tower that's probably it like because this is stone yeah that's not it this is probably either this tower or that's riverside okay um yeah let's try this one let's let's try this one first let's try this one first Oh, we don't have a chocobo in this region, but we have a, a car, right? There we go. I was like, I was about to say, man, don't do me like that. Time berries, okay. I mean, the cactuar. Really? Tremors? FF7 buggy car. <laughs> I would if I lived in the desert. Like, I remember the first time I went to California and um, Marlon Webb was driving and we were just out in the desert. And I'm just like, wow, this nothing but desert. Man. It was weird. So according to this, Tom Berry King would be... Unless that is the crown, the proto relic. Uh, we need healing. Bad. That's good enough. Right, so that might not have been the one. <laughs> nah. Uh. Johnny's asking too much, man. All right. Uh, might as well activate this one to be on the safe side. Hmm. Oh, 
wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. I need to get to this. So, hmm. quickest way to get there. Oh, wait, I should be uh, transmuting this stuff. Because I can't even use it, so. Start back here again. Mm. Keep going the wrong way. All right, so from here, I need to go. Oh, all I gotta do is go straight and then veer off this way. There we go. So you had a hot wheels of that when you <laughs> I believe it. There we go.
Ah, that's probably where it is up there. Let me find the end to rest and get my HP up. I'll probably call it here. I'm kind of tired. The others went off to have fun. Nice. Okay, let's go to the spooky haunted mansion. I got a lot done. Uh, like I said, it was a nice chill level up and chill stream. I said chill, but you get it. Michael Jackson Thriller here. Until next time, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, staying up with me. Signing off in five, four. Timeout. Three, two, and.